Rich, mute yourself. Hey everyone, Paul Ice and welcome to Friday Night's Live at the Ben Show. So, it is our build night tonight, so you can sit back and chill with us when we build away. Um, we've still got a few sections to do. We've got Dan section, which Graham's going to be doing tonight. So, Graham, build not your work on the Facebook page and the forum. Uh, the favourite build of the night, chosen by you guys and girls in the chat, will win a UMP goodie bag. 
Uh, we've also got Graham doing questions for the crew. And Graham, Graham's busy tonight. And Graham doing um, what we bought this week as well. Uh, sadly, Tim, we're reading the chat again. Um, I've just seen Wolfgang Thistle in the chat already, Tim, for you. The whistle? Yeah, Wolfgang Thistle is in the chat. Yay! Yeah. I haven't seen Island Punk yet, though. Oh, there he is. He's just, he's just commented now. Oh, <laughs> well, it's not, it's not uh, being like without him being there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Tim's going to kill the chat, um, which is always quite funny. Um, and we've got some prizes to give away as well. Like I said, we've got a goodie bag to give away in our favourite builds of the week. Uh, we've also got a UMP goodie bag to give away in a prize draw. And hopefully Tim's got a picture ready. No. No. no the prizes we've Tim's managed to buy via Tim swearing, basically. Uh, our pretty much was actually, wasn't it? Yes, through our swear fields and Tim's for profanity, um, we uh, managed to get some Tamiya tools to give away. When Tim gets his act together, he finds them. I'm slowly, slowly. <laughs> we'll do it uh, tonight as well. We've also got Rich with us. Uh, Rich is 80 years old today. Um, no, he's not. How <laughs> Rich's birthday was yesterday, uh, I think, wasn't it, Rich? Yeah, yeah, Rich's birthday. Yes, he's in our birthday group. <laughs> So he's here to open his gifts with us yeah. tonight. And there we go. Right. The prizes. There we go. So we've got a uh, Tamiya diamond file for Photo Etch. Uh, apparently it's next week. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, right, this next week. Yeah. Yeah. Side cutters <laughs> as well. Uh, so tune in next week and we'll give those away. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, I'll, I'll sort this out. Hang on. Gee. <laughs> oh, you not are just so mean to me. <laughs> oh, it's still next week. No. Hang on. Da, da, da. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, yes, like you said, it was Richie's birthday. Yes, he's part of our birthday pool. Uh, so we've got an on here to kill the birthday song and um, open his gifts. This one. So, hope you had a good oh. birthday, Rich. I know things are a bit tough at the minute. Um, uh, as Norman said before, you get to spend the evening with us. Spend as long as you want with us. And if you have to go, just go, mate. Don't worry about it. Okay. And uh, no, apparently. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no. Um, if anybody's uh, thinking that Rich looks familiar, you've obviously watched Lord of the Rings. Or yes. or, or the Wombles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm the good looking Womble. Yeah, he's <laughs> I didn't know there was one. Rich is the father figure of the group. Anyway, Tim goes to this picture and apparently we're giving these uh, prizes away no. No. <laughs> no. I couldn't see the text and I just hit the letters. Hitting them in the wrong order and the wrong amount is not doing it. Yet. <sighs> anyway, so that's it. So all you got to do to win these prizes is watch for the show. When prompted, usually by Graham, uh, pick it up from one to a thousand, pop it in the chat, and we do a live run on the number generator, and you win those prizes. Um, with the goodie bag for the favorite build of the week, that's up to you guys and girls. When Tim uh, Graham's going through those, uh, make a note, and Tim will add them all up at the end. And um, We'll pick our favourite winner of the week. Good luck. I don't know if it's busy or not. Is it busy, Graham? I haven't looked. I haven't either because I don't like looking, do I? I like to see them all. Um... See, as a comp, yeah. you, do you, see, there's a slight disadvantage with that with that one is that now you're doing that section. Yeah, I know. So maybe I think you may go look. I'm going to have a quick look, haven't I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gaz says 125, apparently. Yay, he's a winner. Well done, Gaz. You won the chocolate teapot. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, uh, so tonight with us we've got Graham, we've got Norman, we've got Rich, as I say, we've got Sam, we've got John Sharp. Uh, I don't know why I included John's surname, like you don't know who he is. Uh, Timothy Ivets and me. As well. Me! Paul Bertland. Um, so, have you had a good week? Yeah. Yeah, a long week. Yeah. I've had a nice week. week. Yeah. Nice week of spending tons of money that wasn't even in mind. Yeah, I have no idea why people are putting numbers in the chat. Oh, they're not doing that again, are they? No idea why we're getting numbers in the chat. Nothing's being given away yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll take that picture off your screen to me. That might be confusing people. Oh, we see. I've written, because, well, no, I've written it wrong. They're reading it right. Yeah, it's because they think it's no. No, you see. They're getting yeah, exactly. So, yeah, the forum is very, very quiet. Yeah, there's shock. I posted hmm. on there. Well done, Tim. Well done to everyone that posted to the forum. Yeah, I did. Yeah, one of them, uh, you've messaged him, aren't you, Kaz? Yeah, I did message him. Um, and there's not much we can do about that one, unfortunately. This is, that'll be his oh. settings from his sharing place. Guys, yeah, 
The guys Nick has got to be public. Yeah. Well, all at once. Well, then. I said Flickr has to be set to public for you to share the image. Yeah. Oh. Um, guys was announcing the viewers. We had 128. Oh, I see. Problem is, it's now pop sighted people doing numbers, isn't it? I don't know what a chimp looks like. Open out a box. There you go. <laughs> well, I was going to do a, a, a gesture there, but it really cost me a tenner. Yeah. I was going to say something, but I thought. Nah. <laughs> if anyone wondered what chimps look like with those sticks when they're digging through the termite nest. <laughs> 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 you see them in zoos and stuff. There's like those fishing things full of honey. And give them a twig. Hey, the tongue's not hanging out. Should we make a motion? Well, not now. It's not, but it oh. probably will be. Will be in a minute. I can't open this. I'll swear at it. Anyway, right. Um, let, let's see what everyone's working on tonight. Graham, what are you going to be working on tonight, mate? Uh, my uh, King Tiger. My podcast one. This one. Oh, we've got to get boxes, have we? Completely unprepared again. Oh. oh just we ram it off ten minutes for a bottle of super glue. So yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a few questions. What about you, Norman? I'll be working on the Tacom G6, getting it ready up ready for primer. Oh, oh, isn't that nice? What about you, Uncle Bulgaria? Yeah, yeah, it's not Bulgaria. <laughs> what are you working on, Uncle Bulgaria? Reg. Reg. Is it going to go even bigger? Do me a favour, Rich. Get, get some of those Josh sticks lit in the background. What are you working on? I'm going to be 2K uh, Mercedes AMG GT3. What's that in there? Oh, yeah, it arrived. Yeah, it arrived just as I was coming up here. Um, That's the one we were. Uh, what? Nothing. <laughs> Jesus. I hate Hannah, he's at it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was in the Lego store yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start that conversation again, shall we? Hey, you actually made her cry. <laughs> I made myself cry, to be honest. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you working on tonight, Sam? Well, Me? You one of them any chance, would it? Yeah, it's, that's, that's what I'm working on tonight. Yeah, look at that look. Yeah, very, nice. very like stick. What? Very, <laughs> very stick. Oh, <laughs> Sharpie! Hey! Is anybody in? Not really, no. Oh, oh I mean, that's a big truck. Oh, yeah. I think they're in the truck, hopefully. Oh, Australian. Are you going to be green? Um, it's either going to be manky and beaten to all hell, <laughs> or it's be some random candy colour. Oh, okay. If it's Australian, it was the wrong way up. Yeah. Sorry, Hank, sorry. <laughs> where, where's, <laughs> where, where, where's the sheep in the cab? <laughs> I, I see I'm having the, the master box release. <laughs> I am working on the little my little locker. Just down there. Ah, very cool. Nice time. What are you working on, Paul? <laughs> I'm working on uh, this. Oh like that at all. Just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to give yourself a manicure. Oh, nice. If somebody complained the other day that I should have clean hands while I'm modeling on air. Just uh, don't do what I did the other day. With a, it's clean. Nice Send him a picture of my nails, Paul. No. No, no. Nice. no, let's see you. No. Uh, no, show me now. No, don't. They're relatively yeah, short. Oh, look at it. Oh, I see that. Yeah. A bit of rolled up toilet paper. <laughs> That's been sweet, Con. Oh, Tim. <laughs> right, anyway, um, go on, Tim. Off you go. <laughs> Don't sound too excited there, Paul. Well, 
30 minutes of getting people's names wrong. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, I mean, I'll be honest, it's a bit longer than 30 minutes. There's lots of people been chatting in there. I normally sit back now and start modeling, but this is actually worth reading. Yeah. <laughs> right. well, there's, there's a lot been going on so far. So we've got thermonuclear Bobbington. Uh, <laughs> greetings from the very windy Stevenage. It is blowing a gale down here as well. We've got some light yeah. off wind. Yeah. Yeah. Gary Patchy, hello everyone. Early early tonight for a change. Nice to see you in. Al McNeish, evening folks. Uh, yeah. Callum, not correct spelling. Has yet to embrace Scotland North. Oh. Rich, we'll get yes. to your birthday as soon as Tim's done. So be fair. <laughs> yeah, that could no, be. You're year. all right down there. I, if if your next birthday comes up, just let me know. Okay, we'll keep <laughs> that one on a bit. Yeah. The Met Office, the Met Office have called it Storm Callum, spelt with two L's, but the true Scottish way of spelling it is with one L. That's what L's getting to there. Uh, over here, we spelled it with two L's ahead yeah. of us last night this morning. I, I think you really missed out your uh, being a teacher, Graham. You know I that. Just go and read in the chat. Yeah. I hate kids. He does. He likes stumping them. He's <laughs> getting them with spiders. <laughs> many, many things like that. Uh, Adam, uh, Adam changes scale models. Good evening, dudes. Oh, Hobby man. Coffee Candle Shop. I'm not sure what they sell there. Evening all. Andy from Macy's <laughs> High Hobbies here. Smashing out some work on the retail side of my wee micro empire whilst watching the show. Having a good one, Andy. Thank you, Andy. I think he sells coffee and candles. He does. He's got a, he's got a great sideline going with candles. Go check him out. Check the link out, people. Cool. cool. Uh, yeah. James Mackinham. James Mackinham. James Buckingham. Morning, Welcome. guys. Sergeant Bones. Hi, all. Hey, Bill. Uh, David Power. Evening, guy slash gals from a very windy Nottingham. <laughs> Effin Senpai. Uh, good evening, crew. How are you doing? Steve. Just Steve. Hello, fellow plastic fanatics from Southport, and a good evening to Paul and the Sprue crew. Hey, mate. Um, <laughs> my 124 Typhoon has got the name Norman as it has gone back in the box. It nearly got the name <laughs> Sam as it nearly had a flying session out the window. <laughs> Already? Wow, that was quick. <sighs> Paul's there saying, yo, Brian Windmill, nothing to do with windmills. Evening all from West... Uh, wet West Midlands, Alan Foster. Hi guys, hope everyone has a great and had a great week. Been loving everyone's work on the ISM Facebook. Excellent. Andrew Haycock, evening all. Sergeant Bones. Speaking of weather, can you believe it's twenty five centigrade here today in Germany? I think it was about twenty eight. I think. Wait, wait, do you know tomorrow we're going to be hitting twenty five again? Did you know how horrible and sticky? Mm -hmm. Um, Skullfish, evening peeps. Hope for all well this evening. Enjoy the show. Um, Richie Lamb, good evening all. Very rare night of work. Full live show. Yay. Um, <coughs> just talking about the weather. Ian Dalthway, evening from wet and windy Cumbria. Just hope the electric holds out. John Howe, <laughs> hi everyone, and good evening. Um, BP Modelling, greetings from our wet and windy Wiltshire. Hope everyone's had a great Friday so far. Hey, Paul. Cool. Mark Scale Models, evening everybody. John MW, hi guys. Norman, good evening, fellow Spruce Fiddlers. Welcome to tonight's show. Let the fun weekend begin here. Stefan Dearden, <laughs> uh, close enough. Hello, everyone from Lyon in <laughs> France. El Lyon. Hey, Mika, hi all. Brian Moran. Hi, folks. Happy Friday. Here's a good night. Uh, Wolfgang the Seal, evening all. Matt 58, what's up, everybody? Go on, say that one. Oh, he don't hear me. How are oh, you? Oh, Tim! Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Could be worse. I could have oh, not much. <laughs> no, no, really. let, let, let's, uh, let's not do that again. Have all the back. Good evening. That, that is Massa talking there. Is that NASA talking? Massa. Massa, you remember Massa from Japan? Oh, why hasn't he got, got his name on there? Oh, what? good evening, Massa. He has. Uh -oh. What was his name? Massa. Massa. I remember Massa. I can remember the man, Massa. That's easy. I'm not sure what that means on the uh, script, though. It probably just means hi. What was his name? What? His name? Well, <laughs> well, hang on. Well, well, people put in their names as their names on YouTube's not what they do. <laughs> Saying that, the next one is by Jar Pays in there. Oh. Darpy models and aquatics now. Ooh. 
Even Star and Sp Splunkers and Methyl Ethyl Ketone Masticators mas Masticators 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 <laughs> Oh I swear then um, uh, Hannah saying evening everyone Happy Friday Hello Hannah Guys yeah. making you swear the other day Making you cut more filters out um, Leon I'm not going to say down the square. Evening all, model officer. Evening all, just popping in tonight as early night required. Ooh. Smoking Spitfire. Hello, all. Hello, Adrian. Dino, evening troops. Good to be back. <laughs> um, Black Cat's there. Good evening from Sherwood Forest. Hello, Graham. Hello. Uh, Eddie Br Brunette. Hi, all. Roger Honing, evening all from the Netherlands. Is Lumpunk. Good evening, <laughs> plastic battlers. It is a wee bit windy that here in Northern Ireland. Uh, Grant 5760. Good evening, everyone. Gaz Vickers, morning. Metlo Metline, Housey. Modeler in a shed. Good evening, all. Naked modeler, everybody. Hi, Sean. Everyone. Hi, Hello. Claire, hi, everyone. Lots of wind here. Good evening, Claire. Hi, Claire. Uh, model officers, yeah. James is saying happy 81st birthday, Rich. Dan Kemp, evening, everyone. David Powell, happy birthday, Rich. Chris Pryor, good evening from a very wet, windy Brixham. Um, yeah, Metline saying happy birthday, Rich. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Adam Clark, good evening from Windy Norfolk. Typhoon Table, hello. Happy birthday to Rich from BP Modeling. Dan Cook, evening, sat in my wellies. And Kagul in the European Ice Cube Convention in Helsinki. Yeah. <laughs> cool. There's that teacher uh, banter going well over everyone said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mark Coombs, good evening. Happy birthday. <laughs> I might mean now, Brian, but I don't know about it yet. Everyone saying happy birthday to Rich. John Reed in the middle of building my Revel 132 JU888 Technic. Absolutely fabulous kit. That's quite cool. Let's see what I'm actually doing one with the lights and the motors in it. Yeah. Nice to see. Um, Adam Peacock, evening all. Happy birthday, Rich. Clinton Eels there. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. G'day, Chunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Clint. Clint. Uh, Gaz Vickers, it's in, it's the amount watching international scale models was it his number? Yep. Uh, da, 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 let's get through here. Uh, Jamie Garvin, hello, great giveaway. Oh, we don't jump at me. There we go. Um, uh, Mr. Bob sat in something squidgy. Change your pants. Totally scout models, more Aztec decals for me. No, 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 no. You got you missed Dan's comment. You gotta read that. Oh sorry, I totally missed that one. Oh yeah. Anybody <laughs> modeled the Icelandic volcano? Hmm? Cool. <laughs> go on. Go on, I'll give it a go. Ed Jaff Jaff. <laughs> you wanna know how it's pronounced? No, nah, not really. <laughs> Tim, I can't even say that. Don't worry about it. Nah. There's, no, there's yeah. no reason in my life I ever need to say that volcano's name. So nope. That was the volcano that stopped all the planes flying. That's that's really not interesting. It <laughs> was, because no, no planes flew for a week. Yeah, I know. And? Uh, it, was, it was very interesting for the time, but I had no clue, care of the name of the volcano. All I know is volcanoes are not good for planes. That's what I learned. Oh, we're going, what is it? Or flip-flops. Hmm. What? Or flip-flops. That doesn't say all flip flops. No, yeah, weird, volcanoes aren't good for flip flops. Or yeah, what's that word say then? Uh, Eiffel Yatu Yokel. John Stone, Green Slaves of the Plastic. Hope you're all well. Model on. Goldfish. So when we're getting the live feed from Dan at the nudie beach, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to see that. No, we got like a taster. I did like his ISM sticker on the sign. Though. Yeah, that was yeah. quite cool. Right. We, um, we had a taster of Dan's nudist beach antics last time he was on holiday when his wife sent us a picture of his bum. I'm right. I'll, uh, I'll try and find his wife on Facebook. I don't know her name yet, but I'll work it out. Hannah's <laughs> <laughs> uh, saying, oh, my Lord, Timothy, please, not two years running. 
No, just don't tell me anything is the best idea. <laughs> don't share any information you do not want anyone else to know about. It's probably the best idea for me in birthdays. <sighs> it's the moment. Not doing well. The first surprise birthday gift I'd ever had. On my fortieth birthday. I'm quite sure Hannah will make up for it and get your one ruined it. This, this, this birthday. Oh. Um the, the, the Ray Aquilina. Hi friends Ray from Malta. Hello, Ray. Hey, Ray. Uh, Impotent Tundra saying Grim. I'll bet it is. <coughs> Sharpie, at least it's not your web feet from Gary. <laughs> Uh, Alex impudent Beaton. tundra, hey? impudent tundra. <laughs> Is it being really rude and offensive? <laughs> Impatient. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, Tim's is funnier. Impatient. That's what he says. Is. You said impudent. Did I? <laughs> Did I already say Everton? Yeah. I've read Impatient, but what my mouth is now is something else. That's impressive, that. Well done, Tim. Uh, ASB, well, not right. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is well. Only a short drop in from me this evening as we don't have internet yet, as I only moved house last Thursday. Hi, Alex. It's got empty in boxes and not even got a chance to set up the main cave yet. Get on it. Yeah. Uh, Dan Edmonds, good evening. Oh, Sprue Glue Addict, hi guys. Is Tim soberish tonight? Yeah, I've only had one beer. I'm gonna get another one because these are really these, are, these little Italian beers. I like Moretti's nice. Yeah, they are it's really nice. Yeah, very drinkable. Very easy to drink. Mm -hmm. Like that. Uh, Glasto Billy, evening from a Wendy Oxford. It's gusting outside as well. Um, Andrew Callis, hi, live crew and co. Hope everyone is well. Hey Andy. I'm glad you're okay down there in Florida. Yeah. Andrew, I was a bit worried about that. So, Andy, I hope you're uh, glad to see us all safe down there. Uh, Robert Morris, hi, Paul, and everyone. Hey. Joe's Model Kits, good evening all. Another crappy week. Look forward to the weekend and some modelling. Hey. Uh, Mike Pulliam. Hi, Paul and crew from the United States. Okay, long Mike. Hello. Newton, howdy, everyone. <laughs> Good morning from Washington State. Gavin Colvin, hi all from the for, hi, hi all, welcome to the weekend. Um uh Mr. Me Dreams. <laughs> oh, what? That, hello, well. Yeah, well um, yeah. <laughs> uh Dino for the crew. For the crew, if I share my model on ISM Facebook, will my friends on Facebook be able to view the post? No, it's a no. pose group. Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, Pappy Oliver. All right, mate. I meet. I, yeah, I. I, I, I. <laughs> oh, good. Tim's reading the chat. It's actually two kids. Thank you. Uh, Andreas, I missed you in London too. You, you, it was a bit of a, a short notice to be able to get out of work, and we've got a load of work on at the moment. So, unfortunately, I uh, wasn't able to catch up with you then. Uh, Anthony Mitchell, good evening all. Gary Pashley, close groups. Yes, mm, Sergeant Bones, quick, someone write something with multiple syllables and maximum verbosity for Tim to read. Hey. Verbosity, I've never heard of that word. Does that mean a lot? Does that mean a lot of something? <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. Oh, a lot of it. I like a lot of it. Um, Roger Honing, Tim, just. Just so you know, I leave. I leave for work in an hour. Hope you read. You, you hope you read till here by then. Hello, Roger. I hope I did. <laughs> uh, Gasby is saying he loves Moretti. It's very, it's very nice. Um, Wolfgang the Seal talking of volcanoes. Tim, best to keep clear in case you get. Oh, that's the wrong word. I, I I don't believe that's a proper word though, because I can see volcano in it and pixily and some micro stuff. I don't think that's a, is that a real word, Graham? Far off of a real. I word, think Mark. it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. The real one is, 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 that that what, is, is that what happens to the screens on a plane? No screens. You know, you know, if a plane flies through uh, a ash cloud. It get the it turns the um, windscreen, it, it, it like it sandblasts windscreen, doesn't it? 
No, the grit gets into the turbine. Well, yeah, and it does the windows in. Yeah, but it's kind of more important that the fucking. Oh! Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh! Yes! I missed. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I False sense of security, you drop the guard. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Send in the PayPal address to him. I, oh, that's, that my work here is done. That's amazing. I've, I've done it. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's, as soon as you drop your guard, just that little bit, you'll swear. Let's move on, shall we? So, but you mean something like the most guys. round? Yeah. Uh, model officer, love, love Tim's piss pronunciation, pronunciating of worms. Worms. Yeah. His worms. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Don, Don Williams Garage. Hi everyone. Hope you're all well. I'm grateful. Hey Don. Hey Don. Um. Da, 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 da. Oh, they all like you, Graham, didn't they? Oh. And it's, it's a lung disease caused by micro micro silica particles. Oh, okay, didn't know. Thank you, the seal. Mm -hmm. That's a mighty long word, though. I've got no chance to doing that one. I did, um... oh, that's a profanity, like, Graham. Yeah, I know. You, you, you oh. Matt, saying you walked straight into that one, Graham. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I thought uh, the shop would take a break. Someone saying, "Think of the, think of the children, oh, <laughs> the poor children." Uh, see no evil builds. What's up, guys? What did I miss, lol? Graham swore. Yeah, Graham. Uh, <laughs> Sprue Blue saying Graham needs to go sit on the naughty step. Uh, uh, was that G? It, uh, what what G? It wasn't you. It was the spider. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> it was. Thanks, naughty Steve. Spiders. Naughty spiders. I'm not sulking. I'm just gutted at myself. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, Graves swore. Not upset. We're just disappointed. I'm not. I'm That's it. And we can have some fun with um, merging some songs now. Well done, Graham. We're proud. Uh, so cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary, that's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's two weeks actually, Gary. <laughs> that's the only she knows about anyway. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. As much as you try and keep the swearing off the channel, it is funny when people swear. Uh, We're all human and adult, so <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> in, in, in my defence, <laughs> there is the no engines are sliding towards the windows. <laughs> what? In my defence, the engines are slightly more important than the windows at four. No, no, you can't get out the window to land it. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. Oh. You can land it in pitch darkness. Oh, you can see the window God. to see darkness. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was hilarious. Oh, I am sorry, children. I am a potty mouth. Do not repeat anything that you hear me say tonight, or you'll be in detention. <laughs> not aqueous. <laughs> no, definitely repeat aqueous because that's correct English. Anyway, carry on. Aquarius. <laughs> you drove a on, are you trying to carry on? Everybody. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll move on in my own good time. Thank you. Swearing McSwear face. <laughs> <sighs> point of ground. Look how I. <laughs> Disappointed, let down. Let we're all been let down, my Graham. We've been we've been so good recently. Yeah, Tim's only swore three times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll just think, peeps. Every time one of us swears, it's an extra prize for you, lot. <laughs> right, now we got that nasty business out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move on to Rich's birthday. So it was Richard's birthday yesterday. It's a part of our birthday pool, which if you don't know, we all pool in on each other's birthdays and uh, buy each other a gift. And it was Richard's turn yesterday, so he's joined us today to open his gift live on air with us. Uh, sadly, before that, <laughs> we need to kill the birthday song. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
This will be good. Hold on, I got a drink. Why is it a bit dry after that? Disgusted by Graham Swearing. <laughs> Shocked and appalled. Absolutely. Totally embarrassed. <laughs> There's a blight on YouTube. Wouldn't get me doing that. <coughs> no. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I was ready. Yep. Okay, on three, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. 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 Thank you. That's me your day now, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> You're right there, mate. Where are you now? Why you don't cut yourself? That's my job. True. That's I've written it. Happy, happy birthday. Yeah. Many months has that box been with you? Watch out you don't knock that piece off the, uh, Rich, watch yeah. out you don't knock that piece off behind the box. Pardon? Not, watch you don't knock your bit of model off on the left hand side of your box. You yeah. Like, yeah. Model on your bench. You don't, knock it. don't need to knock it off and run it over. How do we get them with the door? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey. Gentlemen. You got choo choo. Oh, the trail. That's cool. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's nice, mate. Very cool. Cool, cool. And the armor oh. carriage to go with it. I like the armor one. I told you to watch out for your bit of model. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. There you go, Rich. Happy yeah. birthday, mate. Hope you like them. I do. Thank you much. Uh, a nice diorama with them, mate. Yeah. yeah. There we are. Very nice. Uh, who's my next one, Norm? Uh, we have Sam. We have Nigel. We have yourself, and we have Brett. Okay, go. Next month. Excellent. There we go. Well done, peeps. And there we are. So well done. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday mate. Oh, shit. Oh, what? What was that? Oh, was that happy birthday, mm -hmm. was it? All oh, right. <laughs> I hate that camera. <laughs> right. Um, all right, right. Let me use camera. Oh, I need it. Right. Uh, Gray, do you want to do all your sections? Get out of the way. Yes, I can do. Try not to swear if you can. <sighs> Hold it down. <laughs> right. What right, shall we do? That's what he's playing the rascal. Shall we do. Um, let's do what we've been buying. <laughs> shall we? Yes, yeah, go on. Right. Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's just have the page up. So leave the chat alone, people, please. And I will share my screen. Okay. So this week in what have we been buying? We have first up, we have David Powell. Um, I saw him post about this earlier in the week. It's uh, Mitsua. 120 scale Willis Jeep and trailer from 1982. Um, he was trying to get a value on it. I think he's picked it up as a bargain from a boot sale or something. You to zoom in a bit, Graham. Uh, I thought I was. Oh, no, I need to click on the picture. That's what I need to do. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hello? Um, there is some info on scale mates about it, but I couldn't find anybody that was selling one. But it looks really cool. But yeah, well old. Hi. Very nice. And next we have Radim, who's just been paid, so he went and spent some money, and he bought the 
uh, AT219 from Revel. And I can't see what that is because I can't. I've got a crick in my neck. The AT219, uh, is it? Yeah, but what's the tank thing? Oh, uh, Panther D, is it? <laughs> House for A. I House for A. And something really small. I can't see what that top one is. Looks like a yeah, glue. We can get the pictures right around, guys. It'll help us immensely. Yeah. A little, a little bit. But yeah, cool. Um, I like the look of that uh, that plane. Well, the Heinkel. Yeah. Lovely plane. I've got it still in. I've still got my one one thirty two one. That's really cool. If you want one, if you are for one forty eight instead, let me know because I could probably might might let that move on one day. Okay. Oh, Dan. And uh, he's bought himself something to sit on. Ooh. Oh, excellent. Very swanky. I still have a comfy bum. Uh, and here we go. So Sam hasn't posted for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so uh, grab a cup of tea. So Sam's purchases this week have been... Uh, oh, that uh, NSX is gorgeous. Look at that. It's nice. Very nice. And uh, DTM Merc from the D2. That's really nice. Lovely jubbly. And then we have a little rocket bunny. That's cool, that. That's so low, isn't it? It's lovely. And uh, the BNX build. And the BMW M6, which is beautiful as well. I love the scheme on that. Mm. Really nice. And then two. Oh, my God. Yeah. New Porsche 935. That's the new one from Aoshima, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and say again. B-Max. B-Max. B-Max, sorry. Um, and uh, the Toyota Corolla, the old old Corolla. That's very nice. smart. Minolta livery. And not quite finished yet. Some more Scooby-Doo's. Because you can never have enough Scooby-Doo's. Nope. And, oh, a gorgeous Arbath truck. Let's call that. That's Super really nice. Really, really nice. And this lovely polar line, rigid. I really like that a lot. That's a cool looking thing. Mm. That's a cool looking thing. Just a pity it didn't get on yet. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? You'll see that one further down in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> he hey, isn't that? <laughs> and then Dan has, uh, Dan Edmonds, that is, has bought himself the Arbath truck. And he's also bought uh, a new bench vent. Well done. Well, from aircraft, good. From aircraft.net. Um, <laughs> and the really great big truck from Veteranus. Yeah. Um, that, that, yeah, you won't, uh, won't regret that bench vent, mate. It's awesome. It's awesome. They're going to be more of my next purchases. Uh, Steve from Southport. Snow Wolf or Sheppy on the forum. Oh, nice. Uh, he bought... Oh, that's beautiful. 132nd Spitfire Mark 9. Uh, Top-notch camouflage and mask set, an ID mask set, Bontex decals to do the South African Air Force. No. Mm -hmm. Actually, East. Um, in Malta, okay. Uh, Edward Brass in wheels, Barracuda cast door with separate crowbar, Barracuda seat, Master Brass sea wing, 20 millimeter cannons, fabric seat belt, and MRP paints, interior green as your blue, midstone, and dark earth, and more paints to come for the markings. I guess you're going to town on that a bit, mate. <laughs> 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 breathing a pear tree. <laughs> wow. That's, uh, yeah, impressive. Looking forward to seeing that, mate. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And then. Here we go with Paul's. So lovely um, Mission and Pilot Escort. I do love that. Really like that. And the Liberty Walk. Uh, what I can't remember what car it is. R35. R35. Yes. Very, very nice. Again, look how blooming low that is. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Is it, it's how's the kit look, Paul? Really nice. Yeah. The detail set as well, Graham. And a detail upset there as well. Very, very nice indeed. Nice. What a um and then oh we've seen this somewhere before this very <laughs> this very cool rigid polar line truck <laughs> volvo f16 beautiful thing um that once belonged to uh to sam yep, i've got rid of my trucks and uh a big square lump in it that one there's there he is no that's not sam that's his friend 
Mary loves dick. <laughs> is that see see what uh, see say what you see? <laughs> no, that's not him, is it? No, 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 no. Pick that up. Erica Cora. Probably him on the phone. Oh, okay. Uh, next up, we have Carl Gray, who said he missed last week's post, but including all now, most of it's for the truck build. Nice. Some extremes and some al clads in. Is that black? Oh, that's for that, uh, black that truck you've got, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to seeing how he goes with it. Yep. Very nice. And a new airbrush. Beautiful bird. And then he bought some a resin from Kitform Services. Yep. Uh, some UMP primer, some set and salt, and that gorgeous black amber truck. Nice. It does look beautiful. Nice look that. Look that. And he's got himself some uh, some more paint as well. Very nice indeed. Nice haul, mate. So, Mr. Timothy Ivets got a truck to do a low rider conversion. Oh, it won't yeah. be in the truck build. Um, that is very sweet. Yeah, very sweet indeed. So it's got um, to have a, it's got to have a lot of chop done to it. Mm. A lot of chopping. Yeah, so, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Yeah, let's do something about it. And then Tim also bought this little chap. Yep. Mm, which yeah. looks extremely pretty, but I don't think I'm brave enough to try that. Mm, yeah. Got a bit of a scary kit. Yeah, it's it's not. It ain't no Edward. <laughs> There's some parts got some major flash on there. Uh, uh, I'll build a road in it, and then I'll hit it with a hammer. Mm. <laughs> some Fion decals for the uh, one thirty second SE five. Uh, best decals he's ever purchased. Not only are the decals very thin, perfectly coloured, and in register, the instructions are just outstanding. Um, not like the. Uh, Ones that I've bought then. No, they're <laughs> nothing like any other decal set I've ever seen. Uh, you get three glossy printed pictures, instructions for making the parts to make the kit a true night fighter, but the six-page instructions, which includes history on the plane you will be building, how to apply, how to use, and any relevant information you may never ever you may ever need. We'll be buying more of these. Uh, very pretty. That's a lovely scheme. Yeah, yeah I, I've I've never had it. the decals. I, I couldn't work out where the edges of the decals are. It, it's just they're so good quality. And then to get print work and a proper glossy print on there, and then massive instructions. How's it? I was, I was quite amazed. I was really, they're, they're not the cheapest decals, uh -huh. but they are well worth the money. Well worth the money. Cool. That's a I, lovely look. Happy to buy them. Love it. So they're Fion, yeah? Who, yeah? Where do you get them from? Direct? No, they're from France. So look for Fion. Are they on Facebook? Uh, no, I found them through Scaweights. Right, okay. Stuff. Cool. Um, but yeah, go on Fion decals and you'll see the of stuff on there. Smashing. Super duper. And Mr. Adam Challenger. Nothing major this week. Uh, right hand dashboard from Kitform Services for the truck build and some Mercedes decals for a future build and masks for the Plays BMW. Platts. Yeah. Platts BMW, yeah. Very nice. And next we have me. So uh, that crazy man in Belfast. Sent me a little, another lovely present, this gorgeous Tamiya Peugeot, and he also included a set of the uh, stunning Gowaz decals and a sheet of carbon fibre, because he's a lovely man. That kit, man. I had a look through this the other night. It's absolutely bang on. It's um, a lovely kit, man. Yeah, it's so, so, oh, yeah, lovely. So, yes, thank you very much, Sam. No, you're welcome, man. You are lovely. And then uh, James Skiffins uh, said it's Sam's fault. He made him. <laughs> massive daff maritime thing. It's huge, but it looks so nice. Great crack taking that to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, really nice. I was um, James Bond, so you got it. And then, oh. Radim stuck a picture in quickly, I think. There you go. So it's the house A, and what's the little... Oh, it's the metal barrel for it. I see. Right, okay, cool. 
That's a nice looking tank, yeah. actually. I like that. Yep. Well, that sheet of armor thing up the side. Cool. Very nice. Thank you, Radim. Uh, Clinton. Some supplies he's purchased over the last month. This could be busy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is today's haul. I know that. Some Tamiya brushes, more crop clips, and paint. Lovely TS. We were talking about them earlier there also. And then he's bought the Tom's GT Supra, which is, yeah, lovely. That's the one that Luke yeah. built, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really nice. And then the uh, Ties and Porsche, which I keep looking at, you know. That's good. Look at. Yeah. And loads more Tammy bits. Looks like he's got a Tammy knife and some sanding pads, are they? Micro mesh pads, perhaps? Uh, looks like it, yeah. And lots of lots of paints and panel liners. And ooh, what's that? Tweezers. Copy. Yeah. Big chunks of the car set and cruise control with a model shop. He has, yeah. I think he's like got some <laughs> he just doesn't stop. <laughs> yeah, loads <laughs> more bits. Some more tweezers, because you can never have enough tweezers. Nope. And uh assorted primers, paints and Setting solutions. Ah, oh, God. Oh, that's lovely. And a lovely Repsol Honda. Nice oh, one, Sean. Love nice. that steam. Nice. Really nice. And we, no, we're still not finished. Oh, still on, Sean. <laughs> some more TS sprays, some airbrush bits, and some uh, MLT. Oh, is that Lacquer Pinto? Is that the new. Uh, that's the new Tamiya lacquer paint. So. Yeah. Ooh. Need to try those. And last but not least, not one, but two Tamiya work stands. Uh, some X20 lacquer thinner, which is their enamel thinner, isn't it? No. Lacquer thinner. X20. I think the blue top is their enamel thinner. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, it says there, look, enamel paint. Yeah, yeah so that's enamel thinner. I think so, lacquer one, isn't it? And uh, some oh, yeah. lovely Tammy side cutters and some stickers from uh, Hobbies Direct. Very nice, John. Go in there Thank anytime. You. If you pass in Hobbies Direct in uh, Australia, pop in anytime. Clinton's bound to be in there. Say hello. Go <laughs> 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 eat there in a coffee cup. And that is what we've been buying. Very nice. Nice haul, Clinton. Nice haul indeed. Do you want me to jump straight on the next bit, Paul, or? Uh, we're straight going to do questions? Yeah. Go on, mate, if you want, yeah. Okie dokie. Let's uh, scroll wheel on this mouse. is isn't working. There we go. Right, let's have a look and see if I can find him. I'm still kicking myself. We've just been down here. Okay, so first question is from Alan Foster. It says, hi team, being new to the modeling scene, I'm gradually building up supplies and have an airbrush and compressor, but looking for advice on what to buy after that, up to a budget of £100. Thank you. I saw this question earlier and I thought, that's awesome. Uh, well, being fairly new to it myself, I prioritised tools over everything else tools and paint over anything else um yep. but when you're starting off just buy the paints that you need for the kits you're going to build um but yeah tools tweezers knives sanders Hammer. washes yeah all the tools, tools first then the kits the paint yeah yeah see lots of people come into the hobby and they go out and buy loads and loads of models and it I always set set myself the target of getting me, me, me bench in, in situation in, in situ before I started spending too much on models. But I kind of strayed a little bit, and it came to a head one night where I, I wanted to start this particular model, took it down off the shelf, and I couldn't even build the first part because I had none of the paints that went with it. And I thought, right, I need to put something right here. Tools. Sanders, UMP Sanders, good full set of those. Starter packs are good on the thinnies and the regular Sanders. Yeah, yep. definitely worth getting. Um, they'll see you for a long time, and they will do just about anything you need them to do. 
Uh, it's hard to know it's a stick to start, isn't it? Um, yeah, as with Graham, definitely supplies, paint, and plan a heavier future projects. If you've got something you want to build or something in mind later on, pick up the paint for it or any aftermarket you need. Um, yeah, don't go buy millions of models. Mm. Not, I know it's tempting to do. I made that mistake. It's just uh... if you get um, there's a couple of people in the chat saying about um, UMP primer. <clears throat> Without sounding like an advert for UMP, the, the sanders and the primers and the airbrush cleaner will set you up pretty good because the primers. Um, they're not just for priming. You can use them for detailing cockpits and all kinds of stuff because they brush paint really nicely as well. So they're kind of a, like a two-in-one. Um, and especially if you're buying Tamiya paints, which is what most people buy first off because they're easy to get. Um, they don't brush paint very well. So for you, like your cockpit buttons and switches and panels and stuff, the UMP primers are fantastic because they just they paint so, so nicely with the brush. So yeah, go to UMP and spend all your money. <laughs> Yeah, we'll find about that. <laughs> Anybody else? Tools are the main thing, I'd, I'd think of. Good tapes as well. Start with fairly simple models as well. Don't go jumping into something like a mini art kit or mm. whatever to start out with. Or <laughs> you might hang yourself. Yeah, look for some of the old um, the old Tamiya armor kits, uh, the uh, Stug Four and, and things like that, like early seventies things. But they're so easy to build. Um, they're a great introduction. But yeah, tools, tools, primers, sanders. Um, but yeah, hundred quid won't go far, unfortunately. Um, cool. Let us know what you bought. You can post it in here next week, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, Tony Davey, uh, even all some advice, please. Would you lay down a lacquer-based primer before spraying water-based acrylics like Vallejo Air onto armor or military aircraft or just put on a water-based primer? Really enjoy the Q&As. Thanks. Either. Either. It don't make any difference. Yeah, either do, yeah. Um, yes. Swings and roundabouts, isn't it, really? Um, Lack of primer is less likely to lift with masking. You know what? I've never had UMP primer lift once. Oh, all no. these people say about lifting, never once. Yeah, I've had it once or twice, but that's just me being me. and paint mm. um, the whole thing in one day with a three-color camo. <laughs> personally... I use UMP. I did before, even before we sold. I use Badger mm -hmm. for years now. Uh, I do own the other primers, and I'll be honest, what I use them for more than anything is different color blacks rather than primers. Um, they're for easy use, clean up, less smell. I go with a, a non lacquer primer, to be honest. Um, it'll lay down fine, and nearly any paint to go over the top, no problem at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't own any other primers apart from UMP. Use them for everything. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't matter which one you use. Yeah, it doesn't matter, mate. Whichever you've got, whichever you feel more comfortable using, I guess. Yeah. Um, and the last one on the uh, uh, live at the bench page is from Joe Bentley. He said, "What is the best way to fake a rusty exhaust pipe?" Love the show. Many thanks. Oh. <gasps> I like using things like the uh, Life Color rust set. Mm -hmm. Perfect thing for it. And dry brush it, and you can, the, the result you can get is amazing. A little more 3D effect, you can chuck some pigments on. Pigment picture of your choice uh, and do it that way. But I, I love dry brushing it. I think the effect you get is amazing. <clears throat> uh, but again, it's personal preference. Uh, yep. Depends how I feel. I'll either go with pigments, dry brushing, rust colours, washes, all sorts. My favourite 
for Rust is the um, AK Interactive do a set of three called Crusted Rust or Crusted Rust Deposits. They do uh, a light, medium, and dark in a set. It costs about a tenner for all three. And they, when they dry, they look crusty. It looks like rough, flaky rust, um, which you, you, can, you can get in other ways, but it's just so easy to do. And because of three different tones, you can sort of blend them together to get like a really sort of patterned rust effect. Um, yeah, I love them. I use them quite a lot because I like rust. Mm -hmm. That's good. But I do have the light, the life color one as well, um, the life color rust set, um, which is really cool because I use that for base for a base coat, um, especially if you're chipping through to it. Um, that works really well. And again, because with all the different tones, you can mottle them and blend them and stuff, and it looks lush. Yeah. There's also the Typhus Corrosion from uh, Games Workshop with Citadel. Mm -hmm. And of course, we mustn't forget Secret Rust. No. <laughs> That's uh, Woodland Scenics, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Woodland Scenics, uh, Scenic Rust. <laughs> um is is apparently very good um if you saw um if you ever saw ant's uh ghostbusters car that he did as a as a wreck there was lots of scenic rust on that well there you go hope that helps let's go back and see if there are any other questions on here because i can't remember search for myself one moment caller I don't think there's another way of finding my own posts, but okay. Wait, hold on. for the crew, and we have a couple on here as well. I thought we did. Uh, so, Brett Anderson, hi guys, love the show. I know you've probably been asked this a hundred times, but I was wondering what's the best way to remove scratches from clears? What grits to use, etc. Just open the clears on the build I'm doing and realize they have a few scratches. Uh, UMP grey sponge, UMP black sponge, the smoother side, and the UMP buffer, both sides, and a polishing compound, job done. Very easy. Yeah. Um, if you've got to use a paper, uh, it depends on where you are in the world. Using like micro mesh, start at like 4,000 and work way up with the 6, 8, 12s. Mm -hmm. You are going to have to polish. You'll never get them out completely with just paper. Mm hmm you'll have to polish, so you need some compounds or something along those lines. Yeah, if, you don't, if you don't have polishing compounds, if you don't have uh, the Novus or the Tamu or something like that, you can use toothpaste. Yeah, it's um, mild abrasive. Because it's very, very mild. But yeah, your, your UMP or uh, your, your UMP buffer uh, is your final thing. Um, we'll get it almost there. And then yeah, they'll get rid of most of it. Yeah. Or if you can get it, uh, tooth powder. What's that, mate? Tooth powder, if you can get it, works as yeah. well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that should that should see you right. Um, it's quite scary when you first do it because the the, he the heaviest grit you're going to use is going to is going to destroy <laughs> look like it's destroyed your, your clear part, but it, it it just comes out. It's so easy to do. It'll come back. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Philip Ramskar, uh, what's the best varnish used to seal in oil paints? Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> they mean matte. Oh. Yeah. I, I go with Tessa's dual coat myself. Mm. Yeah, because it's a lack of waste. Definitely the hardest wearing of a matte varnish, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you're gonna have to leave those oils for a while to dry. Oh, that's <coughs> and make sure there's no nothing in a very dust-free area, otherwise dust will settle and dry on them. They uh, they reckon oils never dry, do they? They, they oh. don't very well. It, it's if you're painting with deck or with oils, yeah, that's a, that's a real issue. If you mean you're just putting an oil filter down, and you want to put a, uh, a a clear coat over it either a gloss or a varnish, just leave it a week before you put anything on it to let all the uh, the thinners go out of it. Yeah, Tester's dull cut, if you haven't got that, um, 
tail from that is good, or it's fairly fragile as a finish, but... Tamiya's XF86 is all right, but you've got to be careful because it needs thinning quite heavily. So, how many you dull coat once thinning with lacquers as well? Yeah, like XF86 would probably do, but just very, it's very light coat, I'd say. With uh, X20A or UMP, so yeah, didn't reactivate the oil. There you go. Most importantly, though, just leave it to off gas and dry and stuff as much as you can before you lay anything down and then over to the forum any questions we have a couple we have one from kiwi gav and this is probably one for um the car builders when building cars or bikes apart from the main far from the body or main color what would be your go-to list of stock colors to use for detail paint on parts and what brands work best. Ooh, question. I cover that in my videos because uh, mm -hmm. you see me using it. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a staple of colours that are in my booth and stay there. So you've got Tamiya X18 semi gloss black, Tamiya XF1 flat black. I've got my UMP primers, the blacks, um, and Mr. Service of 1500 black, where again, the different types of black. I've also got, I did have Guns GX3. In there, red, but I've changed them to the color, just a generic red. I can't remember the color now. Uh, these are fire extinguishers, tow, um, tow and eyes, etc. Um, let me just think what else I've got over there. I've got my AK steel and aluminium used for the running gear. Um, and that's about it in the booth. And over here, I've got a bunch of colors to sit above me, so I've got the Tamiya. X26 and 27 clear orange and red, I think it is. Mm -hmm. These are lights, etc. Uh, I've got my favorite color of all, which is Mr. Hobby H28. It's a metallic black that I use for a lot of my running gear, uh, brake calipers, etc. And I've got a couple of like Tamiya X31s, uh, 32s, uh, and orange for side repeaters as well. And then mostly the colors that I've learned that I use all the time, so they just stay out above me up there. Yeah, and for all the colours in the spray booth, uh, the Tamiya's, they're all pre-thinned and in dropper bottles, ready to go. So they don't have to unscrew and thin for every single time I use them. If you watch my, if you watch my videos, there's... Oh. Hello. 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 it's for you. Um, so yeah, anybody else want to add to that? Pretty much covered all of it. No, pretty much the same. They're just uh, in front of me. I <laughs> was in metallic, mainly, in the clears. Hope that's <coughs> Excuse me. Hope that's helped, Gaz. Gav, even. And then one from our very own Mr. Al McNeish, one Mac, says, how would you guys paint the glass computer screens in the newer aircraft? No decals in the kit. Thanks, awfully. Is that the, the green head up? He means mm, like I think he's on I about the so, display yeah. screens, radar screens. Yeah, so like green head up displays and stuff. Yeah, greens um, blue. He's time it clears. Yeah, greens blue. Yeah, they're ideal for that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly what Norman says. Brush paint them on. Yeah, let them pool in there a little bit, and I think it's a very good effect. Yeah, in the edges. And if you're going to put like a matte coat on, do your matte coat, then go over the screens with like a gloss coat on a cocktail <laughs> stick just to make the glass look more glassable because if you put a matte coat on, you just lose everything. Yeah. Yeah, but just barely time your, time your clears. That's all I ever used. I'll use, um, say, wash it. I'll use a green wash on a black. So get that mm. colour. It isn't bright, and if you say, Yeah, then pop some gloss varnish over it when it's done. Well, it depends if the aircraft's powered up, then the screens will be bright. If the aircraft's powered down, they'll be dull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, <clears throat> I'll, I'll do mine sat on, the, sat on the tarmac, so I nice, sort of dull it. Dull in the eye of the bottom. Yeah. That's basically all I ever use. Just Tamiya clears. They're, they're very good at that job. Yeah, me too. Not that I've done one for a while. 
You never know. Mm. Never know, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> right, a couple of questions from the YouTube chat. Uh, Sprue Glow Addict, what's the cheapest compressor you would recommend? Uh, the generic yes. Chinese rip-off AS-186, yes. yeah. yeah. uh, which vary massively in quality. Some are great, others mm -hmm. sound like an old model Ford starting up. Mm -hmm. Exactly yeah. way outside. Uh, longevity could last you six months, could last you two years. Uh, it's a chance you take in pound cheap. Um, you can pick one of those up for about 60 quid off of eBay. Yeah, normally. Um, can't you? Um, yeah. I've, I've got one and I use it now. I bought mine second hand. Um, I don't know how long Robert had it for. I would guess a, a year or so. And I've been using it for 18 months now and it's still running fine. But like Paul says, it's luck of the draw because they're just tuned yeah. out of assorted factories around the world um around china so yeah it, mine works fine but i've heard others that have burnt out in six months what mm. i would say is if i'm on a big session with mine it does get very hot very yeah. very hot that's what kills them yeah um so mm. I, I i will be upgrading to the uh one that paul's just got the uh Max 610 Max 610 that's the one which yeah, is right. like three three yeah. times the cost but it's the yeah brilliant brilliant compressor <clears throat> you're not too concerned about noise levels look at like all the little stuff like that because they often do like industrial type ones for about 60 70 quid i tell you now when that fires up ooh, yeah it's very very noisy yeah, it'll scare the living bejesus out of you <laughs> yeah exactly. yeah that's if you've got like a, a garage or something you can lock it away in and uh, pipe it through turned on overnight oh yeah I've done that many times, man. I just had one for years, donkey's years. There you go. Still, got it. Still, still have it. Bad enough when the old AS 186 flies up at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, hardware shops and all, we have deals on these small little bin, uh, thingy type ones and all the small tanks on and that. Just, just don't go for one of the nail painting ones. No, hmm. no, they're not good. No, no. <laughs> no. Don't have the power, and uh, you'll burn one out in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And um, also make sure that you get one with a tank. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, yeah. yeah. They don't, the, 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 the AS 186 ones, but without the tank, I think they're about 50 quid. With the tank, you'll pay about 60, and you usually get a couple of free airbrushes chucked in there as well. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, with the, with the tank, it would be much better. That's what I started with. I still have it. it still works. Yeah, it's not I don't use it. I use it. Down the line or whatever. Yeah, still got mine as well. Still there. And I've got Model T and it overheats fairly rapidly, but it'll work. What I actually, what I actually did with mine is I rigged a, a fan from a computer up to it. When I switched it on, the fan came on as well and kept it cool. Yeah. Nice. Same but like you say, uh, it's one bit of equipment I wouldn't really skimp on price or thingy. If you're going to get one, you know, like you say, buy the best you can afford, like Spa Maxes and that, because they will last you a long, long, long time and they'll never let you down. There we go. Um, some more questions in the uh, YouTube chat. Uh, John Adcox, does anybody have any experience with auto spotting and glazing putty for filler? Heard people had good results with the Bondo brand ones. Wonder if anybody has tried them and what they think. Yeah, I got it. It works well. Um, well I find it a bit delicate. Um, I mean, you can get it back out. <laughs> it's in there. Um, just seems to want to stick in for me. A bit of pain. Um, um, yeah, I think there's mm -hmm. better stuff out there personally. Okay. It's um, Keith Kerrigan says, I know it's a late question, but I need some good dry brushes. Who or what brand do you buy? Good deal. I just generally generally use a normal brush that's 
kind of lost the tip on it. Mm. A bit too worn yeah. out and injured to a normal painting. So, yeah. Tend to buy the the chippy kitty ones and stuff like that because they're going to get destroyed in less than no time if you're going to use them for dry brushing. Uh, you know, like the cheap paint brush sets that you can get for about four or five quid, stuff yeah, like that. I, mean, I get them. I get the nail sets out of Poundland for a pound. Yeah, um, yeah. Like dry brushes in there. They're not great, but they do the job, especially for dry brushing. Yeah, because they're going to get destroyed. They really do. Uh, well, depending on what medium you're using them with. Uh, you know, go get an expensive brushes for that sort of thing because it, it's cost of, it's not very cost effective. You just buy like uh, cheap, cheap brushes you can get like eight, eight to ten brushes for you know, like six quid or something, and just use them. That's all you basically need. Because if you're going to get destroyed, you're not going to be bothered worried about them. Just pull another one out and start again. Yeah, I'd go with that. I'll just use anything I've got if, and I've got probably two or three, and I'll, and I'll trim the bristles down on some of them. Mm. I, I quite like the uh, the Citadel dry brushes. They're very uh, yeah. Yeah, um, that for, for a designed dry brush, they are pretty damn good. Yeah, you can uh, because it's so stiff, you can go exactly where you want it for the smallest of details. Mm -hmm. um, Anybody else? Works well. Um, Gary Pass has just said either Tamiya smoke for powered down CRTs in the cockpit or sometimes the holographic confetti you can get in craft stores trimmed down to size. Yes, yes. All right, that sounds like a good idea. You can um, get different um, sticky types of uh, tape as well, all coming out for uh, flower mm. arranging. You get all them different colours. You can get them with like greens, light greens, and all sorts. <coughs> hmm, okay. Um, I'm not sure anybody's built this. Hello, guys. This from Pat's place. Uh, I'm about halfway through building the Aoshima Pagani Huara. Huara? Huara? Huara. Um, and wow. so far, it looks amazing. The fit is pretty good. I've heard the doors or body have some fit issues. Any advice? Yeah, from what I've heard, it's a nightmare. Sadly. Did Tony build one of those? Yeah, he gave up on it, didn't he, I think? I think it is, yeah, I think he did. The door's just for it. Didn't fit. No, it was on a nightmare with it, wasn't he? Yep. It's a shame. It's one of those where you'd probably be best off just gluing the door in. I'm taking that to Carvin. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yes. And that's it. The zonda. Zon All done. Questions for this week. Thank nice you, everybody. Nice. I do like the questions. They are cool. Well done, yeah. Thank you very much. And we'll come back and do Dan's bit in a bit. We away we go on a trip. Oh, I'm still crossing myself. Mister <laughs> Snake is signed. Alan's going to have a question in a moment. How much? Alan, yep. Oh, Spitfire. Is there a kit of the Zonda? Yeah. Which way? If you want the begin Pagani, I don't think there is. Hiora and the other new one they're coming out with. Yes. Uh, yeah, Tony's in the chat there. Just says on the uh, Huara, he said the doors don't fit. And, no, and all the panels don't fit either. <laughs> yeah. There's no come separate panels, I think he said. Right. I, I, what I didn't like, what I, it, it's a bit deceiving in the bar artwork because it shows it all closed up and it shows it all open. You're thinking, wicked, everything moves. And you find out, no, you either build it all open or you build it all closed. You can't have both. And like, that's, that's a bit ridiculous. I can't understand why they've done that. But hey, they've done. Um, Paul, Steve just said it's the it's the Sparmax six ten you bought, wasn't it? Uh, six ten, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was. 
He said he's just yeah. seen one on eBay for 175 quid, including an ultra airbrush with two needles. Sounds cheap, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, 18 quid postage, though. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I picked mine up from Mark, and I think I paid 135 quid for it. No, they're 160 quid, 170 quid. Mm. Oh, it's a couple of years ago now I have that. Right, time for 2K. There you go. So I will... Oh, I'm still presenting. Can you stop presenting me? God, complex. I'm shy, you know. <laughs> uh, Dino, um... What's your view on a homemade spray booth using a kitchen extractor fan? Uh, Norman uses one of them, I think. I've used one for about 16 years. Never had a single issue with it whatsoever. It cost, I got it for free. Uh, it's got three speeds. Uh, I'll use the top speed when I airbrush. When I'm just airing off, I drop it down to the lower speed and just leave it on. And I've left it on for hours on end and never had an issue. There you go. <coughs> there Not you that it's in much airbrushing these days. Presenting me still. Okay. There we go. Yay! Done. There we go. So we've still got Graham's look at all the work on the Facebook page in the forum. And a couple of giveaways. What should we do? Giveaway? Give it away. Go yeah. on, Tim, I'll let you do the giveaway. Oh, I can never remember what you got to say. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, we'll give it a go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is like, well, put me on the spot. Okay, so we are giving away. The cutters, or we're we giving away a bag. Uh, do the, the tools we want. Okay, we're going to be giving away the Tamiya cutters and the file. So, what we need you to do when uh, Graham marks the chat, you need to put a number from one to a thousand. Only pick one number uh, and put it in within the, within the five minutes. Anyone put after the five minutes is not counted. If you put two numbers in, you're disqualified. So only one number, people. Um, yeah, and it's going to be five minutes on when Graham says go. Are you ready, Norman? Yeah, I'm ready, mate. In three, two, one. Number start. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. And we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because. What? I'm not hello. Because of the wonderful things he does. Who, who, who bought that? Who got the um that wing nuts kit? Which wing nuts what? kit? Oh, I don't. No, I'm just trying to remember. It doesn't. Wing nuts kit I saw for sale. Oh, look, someone approved my post only only nearly an hour later but on the Smear page. Uh -huh. Welcome people from Tamir page. Don't <laughs> <laughs> mind that, David. What about the other way around? I can't hear your message raising hell when you're in the basement pretending to be doing the, the laundry. I think that's what he's meaning. Clear part ah, of your headlight on your NSX is gone. Where's it gone, Adam? Hey, Adam's headlights have disappeared off his NSX. Apparently, oh no! Have oh. you lost that in the move? Let me find it, man. Kitchen extractor fan, what should look for specs? I think they're pretty much of a muchness, aren't they? If you're talking about the cooker hoods that go above the uh, above your hob, um they're all pretty much the muchness, mate, I think. Three speed jobby. Yeah, three speeds. 
Uh, anything above, say, well, 300 cubic meters a minute or something, you know, an hour. Oh, it pinged off his tweezers. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Ping. Hmm. Oh. Two minutes, folks. Two minutes. B -b -b Benny and the Jets. Time to give Robocop some enjoyment. One minute. Oh, press is on. Oh. <laughs> and that is what your Sparmax one eight six will sound like. Hmm. First, mine's not even that. I don't think anyone can notice mine when it turns on. Mine's in a cupboard. Uh, Norman, did you box yours in? It's not the closet. Uh, <laughs> yes, I did actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I found out that the kid at uh, uh, who's now uh, at our place uh, used to do batting. Uh, I did ask him for what side, and he looked rather confused. Uh, I then said, I think you better go and uh, check on um, Urban Dictionary. And off he wandered. Um, yeah. Did he come back, though? No. <laughs> uh, and he... In three, two, one. Stop! Oh, ah, is, Tim. is Claire out? No, she on my screen. Uh, in a mind. Cool. I'll go with oh. that. Everyone agree? Yeah, just good. Yeah, yeah, she's in, yeah. Okay, dokie. Yeah. Right, well, we're going to use Google's number generator first. That's Sharon. It is, yeah. It is. Ignore, the, ignore the one that was already there. I'm uh, going to click this one, someone tell you that'll be the winning number. As always, if two people have picked the same number, the first person who picked it wins. That's just how we do it. And don't shout who you think is one. David Powell, I'm looking at you. <laughs> now shout. Yeah, well, we're watching you. Yeah. I'm only joking. Uh, please don't shout out. These guys will check it. I want to know they'll announce the winner. Um, and that's it. So we're in number four. The tools is 364. Nice number. I like that number. Thank you. Hey, Paul, the white card came up nice. Yeah? Yeah. We just done that now, have you? Yeah, literally oh, just done. Don't drop it, for God's sake. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Is it good in place already, is it? Yep, I put it on. Excellent. That looks nice, mate. Yeah, I was... When you see, you know, the back of it, there's very little decal on the back of it. Put it, put it down. It makes me nervous waving people waving these things around and the call in 2K. <laughs> Looks nice, though, mate. Really nice. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, yeah, check out uh, Sunday. Um, there's the next part of the car build going up. Um, did a bench update yesterday, if anyone's interested. I've got a couple of reviews to do. That my man flu is eventually going, thankfully. And uh, obviously, check out umpretail.com, myself and Lee's business. Might as well give it a plug. I get criticized for it anyway, so I might as well just do it. Uh, heading over there, we've got all sorts on there for sale, all sorts of stuff. 
www.umpretail.com. Check out the Facebook page and forum, International Scale Modeler. Very well run by most of uh, these guys here. Yeah, well. And um, <laughs> check out the forum as well. Uh, yeah, very well run as well, basically by Scott and a um, <laughs> few other guys on there as well. Um, and obviously, you're on the channel now. Subscribe to us. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down if you're watching back. And uh, leave a comment as well. I'm replying to all comments I can at the minute. And uh, there we go. Check out my Paul Dash ISM modeling Facebook page as well, where my own personal work is shared. I don't add any people to my personal Facebook page, but you can look at my. There's no modeling work. All, all I share is funny videos on my page. That's about it, really. Um, all my work shared on that Paul ISM page. Uh, we've got the Hangout modeling group as well for all the off air hangouts that are like this, but off air in private. Um, and the live the bench page as well. Um, which is all the info for the show is put on. A few of the guys have got channels as well. Graham's got a channel, so is John. Tim has as well. Uh, although Tim and Graham don't really put much on theirs. No, I haven't done much in for ages. I haven't posted anything for ages. I do keep threatening to get back to it. But in fact, I did record a video, but then, yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. Um, and I think. Blames for his own page on Facebook too. Yeah, Black Seventy Three Cat Scale Models. There you go. Uh, and there you go. Yeah. Come and join us on our so, fair hangout. Yeah, come and join our fair hangout. You'll have a good laugh. It's good fun. No, you need a webcam and mic and a good sense of humour. Oh. We get new people all the time. Oh, yeah, right. Double check. Yeah, I missed that one as well. Okay. Cut off the chop. Yes, it is, Brian. Oh, yes. Swearing's allowed in the Hangouts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we are. Oh, yeah. you, you, uh, you, Brian, if you join our offer Hangouts, you'd be gobsmacked how we don't swear more. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Tim. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Must be, I, as soon as it ends, I explode. Be on a good day. You'll hear some swearing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Just hmm. saying hello to each other. So, are we all agreed? Yes. Oh, super yeah. duper. So, um, this week's prize is some Tamiya tools bought by our swear fund. Tim. I'm now about to contribute to again. Um, <laughs> and uh, the number that uh, Paul drew on the random number generator was 364. And the closest to that by a whisker was Grant5760 with 363. So well done, mate. Well done. Well done. Uh, you get your new desk to me, and uh, I'll send it off to Tim. Oh, have you, have you, oh I've got him. I'm on about <laughs> Um And, uh, yeah, we'll get out of the post. You get your new address to me, Grant. Don't I imagine that Grant won something another week? Um, don't know. Grant joined oh. us in the Hangout a couple of times, I think. Has he? Yeah. Oh, no, I stopped you. Right, okay, cool. There we go. And to get your name addressed to me either on Facebook, Paul Bratland, or the forum, Paul. And I should get those tools post out to you ASAP. Well done. You joined us a few weeks ago. I think so, yeah. I remember now. Uh, yes. I've still got a goodie bag to give away and a goodie bag for your favourite builds of the week as well. So there we are. Well done. Nice one, Brian. Nice one, boys. Cool. Cool. Yep. You are correct, Paul. I'm just going ah. to grab a drink. I'll be back in a sec. He won on the 31st of the 8th. All right, there you go. Yeah, I thought so. Well done. Norman George start, man. The details for the Hangouts, Wolfgang, uh, were just explained, mate, <laughs> of two minutes ago. They're on the Modeling Hangout group on Facebook. Um, in the description of the video below, you'll find all the links. Look for the Modeling Hangout group. Join that, and all the links for the Hangouts go up in there. I'm glad people listen to me when I talk. Right, I'm getting all this back in the crisp, so I'll leave you to it. I was thinking of doing that myself, but. Uh, you watch out, you're on anorexia, Sam, you know. You can't let go of control. I know, man. I'm fading away to your mountain. I know. You can't let go of control, mate. You really can't. I remember getting in the consultant's office one day in a wheelchair because my legs were in plastic. Didn't look up at me. Well, it was from me. I said I'm anorexic. Yes. Then he looked at me and realised that 
I was taking a hand at him. <laughs> he apologized for not looking at me, you know, which is quite rude. Yeah. Not dead again. <laughs> what are you working on, Norm? I'm just working on that G6, getting it ready for to go to primer with all the other 4,000 odd kits. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I'm just going to keep them company. Oh, yeah. Put them in the primer, put them in the box, and leave them till they're dry. It's an excuse. Do you enjoy building kits more than you would paint them? Uh, actually, I enjoy all of the facets of doing it, but I think, uh, well, you know what's happened over the last couple of years. Where I think yeah. that's sort of destroyed, sort of, you know, like progressing any further. I've yeah. always got that inkling that Smith is going to get that phone call to say, oh, you know, this, that, and that's kicked off. And yeah, I think that's what really is, you know, knocked me back over the last few years. Yeah, that's just I've got that slight fear, of, you know, going all the way and finishing one and just in case something happens. Life gets in the way of quite a lot of things, you know. It does, man. It does. It really what does. Humans, you know, I mean, if it didn't, you know, there'd be something wrong with you. Mm. You know, be a bit on the sad side. What does it say? Well, I know nothing like that can actually happen, but it's just trying to put oh, my yeah. mind to it. You know, there's no it's more harm. Thing, you know, but it's also an evil thing. Mm. Place tricks on you. It just makes me human, doesn't it? Does indeed, man. You're like me, even I'm human. You know, a couple of people say I'm not, but. <laughs> You're superhuman, mate. It's just Jan and Rexia gets me worried. I know. But what do you do, Norman? You know? Uh, you know, you probably eat a bit, you know? Yeah. I'm not overweight. I'm just under tall. <laughs> <laughs> Got the funny of a god, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've all heard when people when he comes past me, we go, God, he's here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Norm, Dave Powell's asking if he can turn G6 on the side so we can have a look at the detail. Say again. Hold on a minute. Just put the top on it. Uh, we can, I can turn. I can turn it back on if you want to put it on there. For a few the minutes. The detail is very good. Actually, it's very nice in ways. Uh. It's a fair old size. I mean, the detail is pretty crisp all the way around, but it it's just that like say some of the, the joint lines you've got to actually work on because they put the ejector pin marks and the screw connection points on joints, which make it difficult to clean up. Uh, my body, and I've understand a few others have I think you said that the, the body is slightly twisted on it. Uh but other than that, it's a, it is a nice, unusual sort of subject. Right size lump, isn't it? Hey, it's a right lump of plastic. Oh yeah, it's like I say, it's big. Uh, it's like I say, I like it unusual because, like I say, it's four, it's six wheeled, and this front section. I mean, if you wanted to go sci-fi on this thing, you could, you know, a spaceship or something. You could really go down on it. You know, it lends itself to that sort of thing. But, you know, where the driver would sit there at the front, you could really go to town on that if you wanted to do sci-fi. Uh, but it is, well, it is a nice kit. Uh, it'll probably, like I say, it'll probably, if you on a uh, table, it'll probably draw attention. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, it's, just say it's got little niggly build part, you know, sequences to do, little niggly bits. Nothing that's overtaxed and not going to be, you know, I'll bugger it and I'll throw it away, but yeah, it kind of little niggles with it that could be done just that slightly bit better. Other than that, it is a cracking, cracking kit, actually. Nice big. Uh, the tires are not absolutely massive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at the tires that side, oh. you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, they do are a bit. Well, I'll not use that one because I know I'll break that one. They are a bit difficult to get in there because I found them extremely tight and 
They could have done one of those rings a couple of times. The crowds are just rolling around on the wheel. Yeah. You've got to get through the back and pull it back to the front again and the, the sort of plonk on like real tyres. They're very tight, but I mean, look at the size of them. <laughs> well, like I say, it's a kit you probably build over a while, but like I say, sci fi wise, you could really, really, I mean, you could really, you know, it just yeah. lends itself for uh, all sorts, especially yeah. when you consider you got the. Yeah. Let me get these out. I think the one on the top that that would be a thing that was looking like that Ripley. You remember she was driving that in uh Oh yeah. The Oh you've got the the APC and Alien or Aliens. APC is it, John? The armor personnel carrier. Yeah. So you got them sort of things that drop out. That's cool. Uh, so you can actually stand it up on off its wheels oh, when wow. it fires. So, like I say, for a sci-fi subject, we want to do with some conversion and something. It lends itself very nicely to that, and as I say, all these sort of tuck away and fold away. So, if you're looking at some sort of spaceship sort of thing or yeah. shuttlecraft, it just lends itself very well to that. I like that. that uh, so, without the strikes, that would need a hell of a handbrake, wouldn't it, when you fired it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you just go rolling backwards about 100 feet. <laughs> Although I don't build armor, there's a lot of things in armor I do like. There's a lot of armor kits I like. It's the same with aircraft. I don't build them, but there's a lot of aircraft that I like. Most of it being Russian. But as I said, oh. there is a lot of parts. I mean, we keep you busy, but as I say, when you get through it, like. Oh that's awesome. You know, that really does look nice. Doesn't even fit in the screen. No. <laughs> Why is it there? I'm to have, I'm, thing is, I've got a fan just here, you see. And if I push too far forward, listen. <laughs> that wasn't me, by the way. That was a fan. Nah, Sorry, it didn't do me. <laughs> Don't it was Paul, but it wasn't me. <laughs> And God knows how many times I've hit that with my hand and said a few French words. Oh, bonjour, bonjour, mais oui, mais oui. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was sure. La plume de ma tante. Kuna Matata. Kuna Matata. So I think Paul the Red Rocket Bunny. I fancy that next. Very fancy, yeah. I really do. I'm playing with that or the idea of one of the the NS NSXs. Yeah. I just well, have to check with, if I've got the paint for the one I want to do. Which one do you want to do? The one I just bought. <laughs> really? I fancy it. I believe the decals are a nightmare. Tony's built it. Yeah, the decals I'm not in the not respecting Tony, but I like to do a build that nobody else is doing at the time. Yeah. Um, I think we've got most. We've only what? Okay, so what about one of the other sexes? Have you got the Arta one? Oh, yeah, I've got that one, the red and silver. Yeah, I've got that. Well, you're on in the morning, aren't you? Yes, I will yeah, be. Tomorrow. We'll have a look tomorrow if you want, then have a. Yeah. I think the one I'm still looking for is the mobile one. Yeah. And you're looking for which one are you looking for? The purple one? No, the dome one. Which one? The blue one. Oh, the blue dome. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Our other group. You guys are not talking about buying kits, are you? Maybe. Oh, I forgot about that. Hey, you're on a band, remember? Well, my, my kits are in our uh, model buying chat, so if there's any problem, these guys will tell me. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I, I I know what he's they they were going to be buying these ages ago, so we know what they are buying. We made sure we're not crossing yeah. over. Okay, cheers, Tim. Yeah, don't worry. Kept an eye on these. I'll, I'll, you know, you know what these. I'll, I'll be honest. I said this the other day. The only kits I buy are cars. Yeah. If you guys happen to buy me a duplicate, good. 
Yeah. Because you I, 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 I got duplicates of everything, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. So well, two, 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 two model kits of Beatles are fine. So I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll run everything through Tim. I'll run everything by Tim. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Told you. Right by me. Yeah. You don't need to. We'll just tell you anyway. Yeah. Tim, I told you the goat wasn't a very good idea. Oh, damn. There's one kid he is looking for, and that's a 124 scale yellow 2 CV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's thinking <laughs> of doing that in a mini build as well. Yeah. Paul's two ultimate kits. He's oh, oh, minis, yeah, they're great. Yeah. Lovely cars. I love them too, as long as you've got a jar of Vaseline and a crowbar. <laughs> and a petrol on the match. That was never proven. Hi, Matthew. Oh, Matthew. How are you doing? Hello. Is Rich still with us? Uh, he put a thing saying he'd be back in a minute. I think he's come back now. He's right there. It's just said. It's just spoke. Oh. Ah. Are you still working on the Dora, Rich? Yeah, I'm still working on the Dora. That's a beast. Anybody that plans on building this thing, set aside a year. Garby says you do it in a couple of weeks. <laughs> no, I thought six months, but what? What if I was to build it, Rich? No, Garby. I wouldn't in the box. How you Val? Yes, John, it can. Hey, John. <laughs> Single-handedly, the funniest comment ever in that chat. Mm -hmm. Um. Any tips for John Paul about spreading? Oh, not wash. Yeah, it can John, but you need a 0.35 or bigger needle. And uh, the effect you get is awesome. Uh, spray it on. Use the uh, air off the airbrush to dry it, and keep building up to you're happy. Uh, it's such a good effect for the airbrush. Really is good. And clean, <laughs> clean your airbrush out fully. Strip it when you're done. Right. You did a video a while ago, didn't you? Huh? Didn't you do it in a video? Probably years. Yeah, I think I showed a video, John. Uh, one of the first wash videos I did a while back. You also did it with the winter wash, didn't you? Yes, that's right. I did, mate. Yeah, the winter wash shows it as well. That is right. Have a Money with no object. What kit would you buy? Uh, right now, I reckon I will buy one of those Tamiya Caterums. Oh, 12 oh, scale. Yeah. I yeah. fancy that. I really do fancy that. They're very with 300 notes, aren't they? Uh, there are 250, are they? Yeah. Are they cheaper than that? No, I think about 180 at the moment. Yeah, I think they're about one of them. No, they're about 200 quid, I think. Actually, no, I think they are about 250 plus. Up and coming, uh, Wing Nut Wings Lancaster. Really? Yeah, I'd, I'd love one, but never gonna, it's probably just building it and having it somewhere to put it. Yeah, but it it's looks crazy size, isn't it? It does. The Dan Buster one, that would be amazing to have because yeah. the wife does love the Lancaster. Yeah, you know, where Lancaster. Oh, she likes to fill in the damn busters and she watches about 30, well, 40 times. I've, I've watched that probably a couple of dozen times myself. Yeah, the wife watches all the time when it comes on. Yep. She enjoys the film. Have it in DVD. It's a cracking show. That one in uh, Memphis Bell, she watches that all the time yeah. as well. Barnes Wallace was an amazing man. 633 squadron, she knows off by heart as well. <laughs> See a pattern here. <laughs> we know what your kids next big built buyers, isn't they? Uh, so, uh, David, what kind of paint are you using, Matt? I think if money was no option, I would buy that McLaren that Paul has with all the aftermarket. Oh, yeah. But I don't think I would ever build it. Hmm. I really don't think I would. I would just be overwhelmed with it. It's, it's awesome. 
<clears throat> but I'm looking forward to all these releases by uh, B Max uh, Shima, you know, if they ever arrive. Especially the 6R4. That thing's got a soft spot in my heart. I love that thing. Mm, yeah, it is. Cracking girl, isn't it? First time I saw one, I thought, that is it. Think. Yeah, it'd be the Lancaster for me. Magnet wings. It'd be a beautiful build, wouldn't it, though? It would, yeah, it would. But it's going to be lots and lots of pennies. It's going to be crazy money. Yeah. Well, I wasn't really interested until I saw the thingy shots with the stress skin of the wing that wins one and all. And I thought, wow. It's lovely, isn't it? It's all, that's the actual model. Okay. Hello, uh, computers now and computer thingy and all that. It's, it's starting to show itself within the modeling community. Stuff coming out now is getting really, really nice and really, really good. I think somebody said that. Um... Is Peter Jackson not doing a, a, a Dan Busters film? Or... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. A kit for me. Oh, uh, it's one of those things, but probably be a Forge World Warlord Titan. You know, the two and a half thousand pound one that stands about three feet tall. <laughs> In solid resin. Nice. Nice. Works, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would be cool, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I just wouldn't want to be doing the painting all the frigging rivets on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad enough on the night, let alone something that big. Still waiting on me, Bacara. Oh, come on. Release it. So, all I was a condensator, and that came out. So, you did a cracking job on that, mate. You really did. It's all right. I, I, I kept it relatively clean rather than weather the bejesus out of it because they didn't really see much use, did they? And nah, they were most of their lives sat in a museum. Yeah. And their active life just on the parade that's all it was pretty much yeah the only time they actually got wheeled out in angle is just to scare people mm. did we have a ah right um redeem i'll come back to that in a second i think um you were in the main question thing and you probably missed it, mate. I'll come back in a sec. Just, uh, David, if you're using Tamiya paint, you are going to struggle to get a good finish with a brush. Um, Mr. Level and thinner. Yeah. If you've got Mr. Level and thinner, you can add a little bit of that and that will help it to level, funnily enough. Um, and once you've painted a brush stroke, leave it. Don't go back over it until it's fully dry because every time you go over it, you're just going to start wrecking the surface because it it starts to dry really quickly um x20 yeah try and get some mr level and thinner mate yep that's your best bet or get some uh what do you call it? color paints for brush painting Somebody's popular this evening. I mean, me, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, sent me something on Facebook. You look good. See this. This is, oh, I like this. This really tickles my fancy. Uh, 
Have you sent it? Yeah, I've sent it. Oh. It's in the hangout chat. Sorry, Matt. It's in the hangout chat. Um, oh, Brian Windmill was asking what scale did you say for the katana? What katana? What scale? It says what? The, what scale did he say for the katana bike? What katana? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Brian, no idea, mate. I haven't got a katana. Caterham. I was talking about Caterham. Ah. Uh. Oh. We'll be in a minute, Sam, when this finally opens. Yeah, yeah. Dragging his feet. Right. Where was Radim's question? Yeah, I'm at the Caterham car, Brian. Caterham. But quite happy to build another one of those African twins. It was lovely. They come down in price, are they? Uh, ish, a little bit. Uh, right, question of Claire. Checking out your ever shoes on YouTube. Do you still use the Iwata Custom Micron? Nope, it's long gone. Uh, do you think Iwata's better than HNS? Tough choice. I wouldn't say better. I think the eye water are easy to clean and you get more longevity out of the needles and nozzles. Uh, they're very soft on the hardest steam back, very easy to damage. And I've always found the hard is a bit more difficult to keep clean than the eye waters. So that's why I moved over to eye waters. Um, so tough choice, uh, chalk and cheese, uh, much or much, but I just found the eye waters easy to clean and the needle nozzles didn't get damaged. Over the years I owned Harden Steamback, I had dozens of needles and nozzles, and I don't think I bought one for any of the eye waters. And in the near two years I've had my Apexes, I've replaced one needle nozzle, and that was my own fault from a few weeks back. I damaged it by accident. Um, other than that, I've not replaced one single nozzle. So, yeah, strings, roundabouts. Procons are good, yeah. Um... Look good value for money. That's yeah. it. Have you seen the I had a pro con. Yeah. It was really good. Oh, it looks good with them blue rims, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's cool. That. Very nice. That's a good looking mm -hmm. car, isn't it? Yeah, might purchase that. Is that not what the one we've got? That's the it's a different version we've already got. That's the Toyota? Yeah. It's, just a, it's a different version of it. It looks totally different, yeah. though. No, it's not. It looks totally yeah. different. Totally different car. Might be an old one, I don't know. Oh, that's nice, that. Looks nice, those blue rims. It does. Radeem. Sorry, Sam. Radeem, put your question back in the chat, mate. I can't um, I can't find it, buddy. Just re just repost it and we'll, do it. we'll go again. I think airbrush is one of them personal things as well because yes. what might work for one person might work not work for another. Yep, I agree. Trying to find the one that you actually feel comfortable and happy with. Uh, but there are things like those needles, they are easily damaged on the hard. Yeah, yeah I've got the HNS. Well, you know, I haven't. That needle will bend just by looking at it. I've yeah. got spares. Uh, yeah, but they're not cheap either. No, no. Um, like I say, the I waters are. A few eye waters never damage a single needle on those long ones. Well, I, I managed to break a needle on my uh, apex because I was taking it apart to clean it. I dropped it. I'd taken the needle guard off and boom. Yep. Does law. But um, you guys bought me the spray guns, you know, because of my thumb not being much of it there. Um, love using them, but I love using the apex as well. Well, all those wonderful airbrushes I've reviewed over the years have all gone. And I've got Apexes and a, a badge of Sotars for my birthday. Everything I paint is with an Apex. And that's no lie. It literally is. Everything I paint, be it metallics, clear coats, 2K, base colours, anything, is all for an Apex. And it's not a lie. I'll put my money where my mouth is. In fact, you watch me on my videos painting stuff. And it's all with an Apex. Yeah. You're doing every day. And I'm just a ham-fisted dipshit. And what we can also confirm is that every single Apex, we're not just saying it because it's Paul and all that, we actually watch him in the HO, service everyone before it leaves the uh, his, his place. Yep. Look, are taken apart, cleaned, and... Yep. 
Lewd proper oh, set up. Every single one. He blows a little kiss in the box before he closes it. Mm -hmm. I never believe that. It's no. playing loudly. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good. The Apex, um, yeah, shit's allowed. You get away with shit and piss on here. You won't go fine for it. Yeah, I think we should broaden it. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the massive colour cup on the Apex is just so easy to clean. Yeah. Uh, a funny story I bought a uh, I what a revolution for 2K because I had a 0.5 needle. I thought this would make it easier, and I had it for about a week and sold it. I was just finding it an utter pain to clean all the time. I went back to my apex and I managed to get a 0.5 mil nozzle for that in the end, but I uh, I don't even use that now. I've gone back to the point standard 0.3. I really, I know it's my product and it's easy for me to say I, I love those airbrushes, they're just brilliant. How are you, David? How are you? David? Oh, yeah, I got your message, mate. Yes, I got your message. Um, Sorry, I've, I've been I've been busy this afternoon. I forgot to reply. Um, no, I'm not going to Southall, mate. Um, but I will hopefully get over to see you Tuesday evening. I think, yeah, Tuesday evening. I think it'd be best for me if that's good for you, mate. Sorry, I saw your message earlier and I completely forgot to reply. Sorry. Yeah, he's angle tag prevents him from leaving the area. <laughs> 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 Sorry, mate. He starts. He forgets things very easily. Goodbye. Um, no, you're getting old when you walk into the bathroom, wash your hands, walk out, and get to go to the loo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't know. I don't know anybody who's done that. <laughs> we do. <laughs> and I thought I was losing the plot. Uh, Alan, the apex is a 0.35 needle, but it's um, it's a progressive tip, so you can get really, really, really fine with it if you're careful. The further you pull it back, the wider the hole gets, basically. If you just give it a little tickle, you can you can write your name with it quite easily. You'd be amazed at how fine you can get that airbrush to spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only time my SOTAR comes out is for really, really, really fine stuff. Um, the Apex does everything else. And uh, just to show I'm not talking utter shite, if you give me one second. <laughs> <coughs> one. Two. Three. Four. And my 2K one, which is in the drawer. Five. Yep. All apexes. All labelled for what they are. Acrylic, metallic, lacquers, one with nothing on the colour cup is my 2K one, and primer. There you go. All my workhorses, they do everything I want. Robust, hard to break, easy to clean, simple. And they're all I use. And the reason I've got all the separate ones is a... Obviously, they're cheap for me, especially. <laughs> um, and you get no contamination at all through paint, especially. And I'll tell you the most important ones that lacquer for your cars, your base colors. You start putting metallics through it and then put your lacquer through, you get metallic flakes in your flat paint, and it looks shocking. Mm -hmm. And even more so, if you're 2K, your clear coats. Uh, 
nothing goes through that 2k airbrush other than 2k nothing at all and it's kept in the only ones kept in a draw out of the way to make sure it gets nothing on the tip or anything um and that's it and that's it other than my soto which is boxed it's up up out of the way boxes i don't use a fan really now um the, the literally the only job that i'll get now is touching up any blemishes on paintwork like say i uh scratch a bit of paint on a base color of a car i'll use it to feather it back in and exhaust on the bikes i use it to do the heat stain that's it everything else i do everything you see i paint is with an apex no, there's no need to stop on the back, Mark. But to be honest, I've had them on so many airbrushes and found them just to be a pain. Because you're mean. always going to get a little bit of needle tip on an airbrush. Always. It's not the airbrush that causes that. It's the paint. And you always need to pull past the point you're spraying at to get rid of it. You've got that needle stop on. You've got to take it off to do that. And mm -hmm. uh, All you need to do is use your airbrush, work the muscle memory into your hands, and uh, that's the best needle stop you'll ever need. Uh, the Apex currently, oh, hang on, did it go up? Let me, I think it's 80, is it 85? I think so. Bad, then. I don't know. I don't go on our website. <laughs> um, I think they're 85. Give me a sec. I should go and have a look. I'm pretty sure. I know we had a bit of a price rise because the old dreaded VAT. www.umpretail.com. <laughs> 84 pounds 99. <laughs> you don't need to buy fire. Dan, the only reason I've got them is, uh, well, I'll be honest, any that come through damage, and we don't get a lot, um, I'll take them. Man, man, they've got little chunks out of the colour cup, or, you know, little defects or something that have come through. We've had about 500 of these brushes come through, and I know more than 15 that have been damaged. I think we sold off 10, and the other five are there. Um and I've got slight blemishes to them, which makes no difference to me at all. It's a functional airbrush still. Um, seriously, honestly, those needle stops, I wouldn't bother, honestly. They're mm -hmm. more of a pain than anything. I've had a dozen, probably a dozen airbrushes with them on. I never use them. It's just useless. Absolutely useless. It's what happens spray, and you only get back to a certain point, which is great. As soon as you get a bit of needle tip, the airbrush won't spray. And at that point, where you normally pull the trigger back and blast it away. You can't do that, so you've got to take it off and put it back on. And every two seconds, in, whereas at least when you're doing it, without the stop, you just and back at it. Mm -hmm. No bother. Uh, if we ever get any, Adam, but we haven't had any for ages. None at all. Like I say, every apex that's gone out has been in my hands on this bench. Has been fully checked for any flaws or anything stripped, cleaned out, relubed, set up properly, and repackaged back to go out. Yes, yeah, Gil, never used a needle stop either. They're just a waste of time. <coughs> Whereas Norman said, airbrushes are a personal thing. Um, uh, David, I, I loved hard and steam back had them for years uh, I don't think I'd use one ever again if I had to pick anything else I'd go eye water personally. Uh, David's asking if we're going to Telford or if you are going to Telford sorry uh, yeah. yeah you and please go stand at Telford we're in hall one uh, down the back on the left opposite um scale modeling now and next to valiant mm -hmm. um yeah we're there come on over i have with us all the airbrushes are there a lot come and say hello meet these guys tim will be there graham will be there plus those more dan should be there hopefully yeah come on over and say hello come and have a laugh just make sure you tell us who you are <laughs> yes <laughs> Fifty nine. Mm -hmm. That wind's getting up out there, isn't it? 
Yeah. Uh, question for you, Tim, from Claire. Are there any shows near London? Um, so next year you're gonna have one up near Milton Keynes, sort of near London. Um, there is one that's on around Christmas time. That's actually re really in central London. Um, they've moved it. Oh. London model toy show something. Let me do have a little hut search for I'll try and remind my brain of what it's called. I think if I put London model show, I'm gonna get something totally different. <laughs> oh no, there you go. Okay, so in January you have the London Model Engineers Exhibition. That's mainly uh people that make models and i don't mean by plastic kits i mean by they build from scratch models and stuff so you'll find there's a lot of train guys there you build proper low steam locos and things like that but it's quite good fun to go along to and see all the different types of tool uh, that's an, that's an alexandra palace hmm. so i think this is the other one uh, london plastic <laughs> modeling show 2nd of December, that's in. Um, yeah, I agree with, with Gil, the Mac valves. I've used them. Yeah, they don't really lower the pressure. They do, they just reduce the flow. It just all it, I had one on the uh, Procon, and I couldn't, it took me ages to work out what it was for. And eventually, I found um, something on YouTube. And really, all it's for is for getting like speckled effects on your paint for adding like textures and stuff. It doesn't reduce the pressure. It's not a separate air valve at all. No, it's just like kinking a, it, the end of the hose with your finger. Yeah. Uh, it's have, totally... have you can pressure at your feet where you can access the, the regulator and turn it down that way. That's all I do. Yeah. I, I got two settings on mine, 25 PSI and 15. I just go from one to the other, up and down. That's it. Um, it's, it's one of those things as well. It's one of those things we can listen to too many people as well. Hmm. And take mm. too much advice and say advice in the loosest sense of the word. Hmm. Um, so you just gotta be careful. Listen to people that know what they're talking about. People like Gil. If Gil doesn't know about airbrushes, nobody does. Yep. That's for sure. Um, and Brian to Telford, he says, Good to see you there by the coffees. Excellent, Brian. Yeah. Come over, say hello, mate. <laughs> As of everyone, come on over, say hello. Yeah, there. Um, Always happy to have a chat with any of you. Good to meet you all. It doesn't bite, believe it or not. I'm not as big an arsehole as everybody makes out. No. I'm worse. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, I've got to run. All right, Rich. So all right, Rich. All right, Rich. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for the birthday presents. You're welcome. Cheers. Happy birthday. Take it easy, bud. Welcome yeah. for you, mate. Yeah. See you later, mate. See you, buddy. See you, Reg. There goes one of the nicest guys you'll ever talk to. Any chance in the build section? What build? Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, Adam. Chill out. <laughs> we'll do uh, it when we're ready. Thanks. Chill your beans. That's a cheeky git. He's, he's got some neck, hasn't he? Hey. He's got some neck, old Adrian. <laughs> Probably getting towards the You are, Alan. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the rest of the crap, is it, Alan? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know where you're you mean. Thank, thanks, Arthur. Yeah, cheers, Aaron. <laughs> Daniel. Um, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> you should call him Daniel. Um, I know it's a fair old schlep up to Telford from London, but it's definitely worth going. Definitely worth going. Um, it's. I went to three model shows last year. I went to Bolton. I went to Cosford, and I went to Telford. Cosford's good. Um, but not a patch on Telford. It's well worth going. Everything's there, pretty much. This is a good show. 
David Sargent's asking what glue do we use to fix canopies on with? Are you Tamiya Extra Thin? Uh, a mix for me. Tamiya Extra Thin for the front section. And uh, always have a backup so you can get it off. So, um, like, um, that stuff's good. That glue and glaze from mm -hmm. Deluxe Materials. Mm -hmm. Always have a backup because it's so low. If you glue it all on, you can't get it back off. You'll take unmask it. There'll be a bit of wash in there. Uh, or in my case, as I once found, a piece of masking tape. I was going to say that, yeah. Remember that, that speed build? Yeah, how, I was still trying to figure out how you got in there. On the inside of the cab. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, always have a backup. If you are using TET on the front, be mega careful because the capillary reaction will take it everywhere if you're not careful. Really take your time. Um, micro crystal clear? Yeah. It's good. You got that Formula 2000, is it? Yeah. Uh, I think I bought some of that. I could never get the top off it. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's a look. Uh, That's what door frames are for, Norm. Nah, I feel like it is. Normal PVA guy. Uh, Somebody use um aqua gloss as well, yeah. 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 Form of 560, that's it. Yeah, aqua gloss uh, is a very good adhesive, as you'll see in my car videos when we get to it. Yeah, I tried that on my last car build after Paul told me. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, because it doesn't, it, you can't see it, you know, even with a white glue, you're going to get some overspill, and you have to sort of pick it off or scrape it off. But with the aqua gloss, it just runs around and it's invisible, it's brilliant. <clears throat> I keep meaning to try some of that Bob Smith uh, gold stuff that doesn't throw the fog. Yeah, lots of people say that, don't they? Yeah. Did you have that infrared glue or no? Um, the UV stuff. UV stuff? Really? Yeah, I used it a long time ago. It never seemed to fully cure. Yeah. Just, just, yeah, just never seen to properly cure. <laughs> Anywhere the UV doesn't get to, it won't set. Well, because it was a clear canopy for the most part, it did. But, like I say, there's still... Even where it's set, it's still very spongy. It smells a bit wonky as well. World Superbikes this weekend, Norman. Yeah. yeah. What's not, mate? Yeah. Bit of a lost cause, but Johnny Ray wants to beat his um, points record. I'll be watching that. At least it's not really ridiculous times like last week. Oh, God, no. A BBC had uh, the guy won the Speedway World title there. Uh, yeah, aye, aye. Oh, I was cheering like mad when that happened, mate. I was like a little kid getting chocolate sweets, or jumping up and down, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> say he's probably one of the best that's ever been. He, he's very, very good. His dad, his dad, Rob Wofford, was very good as well. Uh, but he's just like he's a bit like uh, what do you call him? Uh, right for. Uh, Honda, a young lad. He what's his name again? Marquez. Marquez. He's just like Marquez on a bike. He can do stuff with a bike. You, you just look and you go, "Wow, how can you do that?" Yeah. He's just like him. He really is. Gifted. Yeah. Uh, well, he's been brought up with motorbikes all his life. So. So, oh, I, was, I tell you, I was like a mad hat. I might. I was jumping up and down for joy and everything. Sure. At least he went down to the last last meeting of the season, so that made him even more like more thingy because he was only like six, I think it was six points ahead at the start of the meeting. So he could easily have been overtaken throughout the meeting, and the lad, other lad, did push him all the way. But oh, 
it's a bit of a you know the next lot of races for the world superbikes bit of an anti climax because um Johnny Ray's won it, you know. Yeah, he won a while back, didn't he? Yeah. But um I'll tell you, man, that guy's rewriting the history books in every way. Yeah, uh, it's BSB as well in this week this weekend. I think it is, yeah. I'm sure it is. Yeah, well, Speedway shut down now in the March, beginning of April. So that's Norman depressed. Uh, I mean, he's got to talk to the wife. <laughs> Monday nights being the hangout now, depressed. Oh, I'll be in the hangout would be cheerful, but you know, the, the nights when the wife says, Oh, we're we'll watching film together. What do we have to do? <laughs> I don't know how Maria sticks you, mate. I really don't. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think Maria deserves a gold medal for that. <laughs> What's this? Uh, well, don't damn um, televise the Australian season. Uh, you it's, got not prolific, uh, it's not as prolific as the British one. It's, I mean, there's some of their tracks have, well, you know, a thousand miles apart and stuff like that. Yeah. And they don't really have a, it's mainly all like competition stuff. Uh, as I said, they don't really have like a league sort of thing. They have like championships and thingy sort of thing. It's mainly a place in the summer, winter for the guys to go and just keep keep active on the bike. Mm. Not and a cheap place to Poland? go. Poland's got the biggest following for speedway. Isn't oh, it? yeah, yeah, Poland. It's it's like uh, our football out there. Poland, Poland's just massive on speedway. It's their number one sport. Mm. And some of their tracks, mate, are just absolutely magnificent. Beautiful. Th Great big amphitheatres and everything. Oh. That's for my little one's going on Tuesday. Mm. Is she going off to, what do you call it? Going to Krakow and she's going to Iceland. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's been before, but I don't have been. So mm. that's where they're going. I actually got my stump to crack out the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I was standing on it. wrong, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get involved in that one. Uh, do we dare ask how? <laughs> I don't know what you've been doing to your stump. <laughs> He's going to get caught the head. Oh, that's it. No, you'll get fine. I'm used to it. <laughs> Actually, Nutella. Oh, uh, you move it up with Nutella now, isn't it? Yep, it's in the fridge. <laughs> I don't know what the message is going for. Buy more Nutella. What? Out shopping by more Nutella. I uh, should be going shopping in the morning. Yeah, uh, Lorenzo is going to be lethal on that Honda next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he? he is. He's going to give Marquez. <coughs> He's going to give Marquez yeah. Marquez money on that. Good season. It's nice to see Lorenzo getting his confidence back because it, yeah. it was not for a while, wasn't it? You're riding that Ducati like a demon. Yeah, it's beautiful when you see them. In control of a bike, coming into a corner and just drifting the bike into the yeah, corner. Yeah, did it. That that last lap of uh, Thailand was amazing. Oh. It was a proper good race. That it was. Sam Laws is very good at that. Just drifting the bike into the corner. Yes. I've seen Michael Dunlap doing it. Mm. Just slides it under. Hey Tony. Hey Tom. Uh, that. Pen mat is one of my editing. Where's it gone? Markers that I used in one of my videos. Did I share that? I don't think I've shown up in you. Edding 400. What's, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They're like a Sharpie, but they work. <laughs> Carry on working. I don't want to stop for no reason. Really good. Get a multi. I've got all the colors there.
I'll tell you where I wish they would show a lot more in this country is the Australian touring cars. Yeah, I was watching about that. Mm -hmm. uh, watching it when the uh, Godzilla skyline was flying around there. Oh, is, is that uh, there's one I've just did recently with it. It was the, le the last time it's on the track, the uh, Ford or something. Uh, this was a proper race, just left everything behind. There was a video on YouTube where um, one of the Australian touring cars that went to America for some promo thing, a sponsorship <laughs> promo, and uh, the guy fires it up and down the street in, in uh, I think it was Vegas. Oh my word, the noise out of that thing. Unbelievable. Crazy. Used to watch the Bathurst 1000, was it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Absolute yeah. mental racing. Not. You know, these super cars are crazy. Yep. What's the thing yesterday about all the supercars that are abandoned in Dubai? Mm -hmm. At the airport. Yeah, uh, I've seen that video. The guy was saying that um, if you bounce a check in Dubai, if you don't pay your mortgage, you don't pay your bill, um, you're put in prison. Oh, what's pays bill? Yeah. <coughs> no. Straight the airport, money now, gone. Yep. See ya. Park the car, they can't touch it, neither can they? They can't do anything with them. Alan, try Spot Model or Hero Boy. Spot Model's in Spain, but the postage is reasonable. Oh, Scott. Scott's in the chat. One chunk. I saw his last drive the other day on a YouTube before I had Ford Falcons. Yeah. Yeah. They they did a special with three of them on the track. They're nice. Well, they're no longer going to be racing again, mate. Did you see the video of the electric car going up Pikes Peak? No, no, no. One car. I think I shared it in my timeline. If you, if you want to go and have a look at it, um, awesome. Oh man, that thing's just so so fast. <laughs> I nearly said so something quick. I think you just so came out. <laughs> that was the first finish. Really fast. <laughs> That was a Tim after about half a dozen bottles of beer. Very quick, very quickly. To put it in. No, it was awesome. I think he shattered the record as well. Uh, Ryan, do you want to do your bit? Yeah, I can do, mate. I'll clamp the. Uh, this up. I'm looking forward to your bit, Graham. Pikes Peak was always more interesting when it was gravel. <laughs> yeah. I like tarmac at all. Yep. But it was a dirt. It was, I think it was some of it was tarmac, but most of it was a dirt road. I remember some of the videos. It was tarmac low down, and then about halfway up, it got to uh, dirt, didn't it? And that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Some weird looking machines out there, that race. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, the, the, those crazy aero uh, cars seem to have just 
don't, don't, don't seem to be around as much anymore now, do they? No, nope. no. Nope. Well, the last one I see was Loeb going up in his uh, Citroen. Oh, the last crazy looking one. That's well, a few years ago now. I think it's Loeb in this one. I could. I ain't gonna be you're all talking at once now. Hey. Yeah, you had the Suzuki Grand Vitara Pikes Peak. That was nuts. Love that thing on uh, PlayStation, yeah. Um, we, we need a model kit of that. Yeah. yeah. You had the Toyota Tacoma pickup truck, didn't you? Mm hmm. That thing was nuts as well. Yeah, That's normally oh, yeah, the, yeah, the pickup. Shouldn't have worked at all, I think. Uh, just quickly, Pavel in the chat. Yeah, he was there last year, so he might be there this year. It was just a little table last year with some stuff on it, so I'm not sure. It was just selling paint last time. That's all it was selling. Well, their hands off flick to the crew anymore. Uh, they do sometimes, it's just stuck on me. I don't know why. I think I was showing the airbrushes before and it clicked on me. Why can't I hear my voice very quietly? I'm on my phone. You're always quiet, man. Oh, it's on my phone. <clears throat> oh, I am knackered tonight. Absolutely shattered. Tired myself, but haven't been to bed since yesterday morning. Oh dear, I can't do that. Not that I want to do it. What to do next? What to do? I just ordered some more decals this evening anyway. I thought, why not? Why not? They don't really you're, know. you're enjoying the biplane, aren't you? Hmm? You're enjoying those biplanes? Yeah, I've always I've always quite liked them. Yeah. I have all the planes, there have been ones yet. Like, yeah, that's really good. Really yeah, nice. Good man, they really do. So you find the kits to go with the decals now. <laughs> Ready when you are, Paul? Yes, I'm sure. You know, hang on. All right, guys, Graham's going to look at all your work on the Facebook page and the forum. So, uh, standing in for Dan, so I won't be anywhere near as good as Dan. <laughs> That's so much better. <laughs> so, uh, because he's sunning himself in. Somewhere, somewhere Spanish, I think. Ventura. Buena Ventura, yes. Yeah, and when I mean sunning himself, I mean sunning himself. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, All of <laughs> so kicking off with the forum, we've got Tomcat64, Tom um, who says, thanks for all the comments and votes for the chaff chaffy last week, guys. It's much appreciated. And he's back to the World War One GB build this week. He'd hoped to have it moved along a bit more by now, but this week has conspired against him. So here's where he got to last weekend. As mentioned previously, this is the ResiCast 135T Vickers gun carrier. He scratch built the rail behind the front seat to give the ResiCast driver something to lean on, as he obviously as he's obviously intended for a different Ford T. The other figures are from Masterbox. Um, everything needs some filling, sanding, and general cleaning up. For applying paint, so hopefully I'll get to that this weekend. That's looking lush. Yeah, yeah. this is good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. really nice. yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? Nice, nice figure range for that as well. That's cool. Yeah, I see what he means about the driver. Is obviously he, need, he needs something under his arm, doesn't he? Yep. That's sweet. You can see the difference in the quality. The the, the master box figures are really quite nice. Yeah, they are good. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, very nice work, mate. And uh, <laughs> uh, Raleigh Chef, 
Mr. Ian Darthwaite. So <laughs> after a bit of a layoff, we're back on the bench with another A.W. Jenkinson Scania and Tape trailer in 124 scale. The tractor unit is the Italeri 143M kit and will be modified to recreate their 1984 Scania 112M. Uh, the trailer tub and chassis rails have now been scratch built from evergreen sheet and strip. <laughs> this is my third trailer now, so it's getting easier. Need to have this one off the bench before Telford. Blimey. He makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Yeah, mm -hmm. he really does. What? So, essentially, if anybody doesn't know, I think it's his brother-in-law works for this A.W. Jenkinson, which is a haulage company in Cumbria, in the UK. And this is now the third or fourth truck that um, oh, yeah. Ian's built for them with their branding on. So he gets all the decals made special, especially, and the paint uh, color and everything else. And he recreates the uh, the haulage company's trucks to go on display in their front office. Yep, through um, the resin on as well. Yep, from kit form services. And all of this, yeah. this whole trailer is all scratch built. That's amazing. You've got some skills. Fantastic skill. Great work, mate. Great work. And our very own Al McNeish, Mr. Oh. Bob Mack. Uh, hey, folks. Little visual progress this week. Uh, one thirty second scale, Trumpy Dauntless. More weathering. Long process. Um, the one thirty second scale, Tamiya F16CJ, Fighting Falcon. Is that the one I've just got? I think it might be. Um, sanded and prepped for primer. Lovely. And the 148 Airfix camera B2. Trench is almost level with the rest of the kit, <laughs> but getting there. Trenches. Okay, I'll avoid that. Nice production line, Al. That's yeah. Dauntless is looking lovely. Look at the colour on that. Good to see it today, mate. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ah, we've got Kaz72. I even must have got his message, Tim, because... His pictures come back. Uh, currently working on the Scania R730 Black Amber from Italeri. Awesome. Uh, adding the twin steer conversion from kit form services along with the sliding fifth wheel and dash conversion. Chassis mainly built and primed in ultimate grey. Engine painted in various Tamiya paints with a couple of additional pipes using lead wire. Hope to get more done over the weekend. Wow. That's, <laughs> That's looking sweet. <laughs> Yeah, uh, nice work, mate. Yeah. Nice work. And uh, I'm glad you got your picture in in time. Uh, Mr. Norman D. Ooh. Kit, Tacom, type G6 Rhino, scale 135. Uh, work. Point, work has restarted on this one, mainly to get it ready for Ultimate Grey Primer, along with the other AFV that he's doing. So for tonight's show, he'll be fiddling with this one, who were misses, just adding ancillaries like grab handle, suspension, and parts cleanup. Okay, move along, nothing to see here. I still refuse to endorse any ultimate advertising on my pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big old gun on the front of there, isn't it? It is, right. Monstrous, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Looks nice, that. Very nice. G6 Rhino, okay. What's that on the front? Is that a mind clear thing? Uh, oh, it's the, the cab and the... Cab and the bumper, isn't it? The front wheel and that bumper. Oh, but... the bikes on. Driver sits in there. Yeah. That's big... Wow. That's how big that thing is. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. Gee whiz. Um, okay, moving on. Very own Scott, two kids, no sleep. Uh, the minions are wondering what the heck I'm making. It's the AMT race car hauler for Paul's truck build. Running gear pretty much made up. Black Ultimate on the frame. Engine is yellow, flat Tamiya. A few drops of clear orange to make a cat yellow colour. That's looking sweet. Nice. Mm. Not a bad looking engine, is it? Nice. Not a bad looking engine at all. Not at all. Um, the uh, pulley detail is looking great. I like that. Belts look cool, don't they? Yep. That's nice. I like that. Nice work, nice work. Uh, oh, and I love this. Oh, I love that. Tim Plastic. Hey, Tim it's my little plane. Uh, oh, he has put some right up. Yeah. Yay, it's Friday. Not a huge amount done this week, but everything that has been done was needed. Uh, the last decals went on. Going to call them ducks, but pretty sure they're, they're 
not some sort of waterfowl? I don't know what they are. They're not ducks, though, are they? No. no. Moor hens? Moor hens, something like that. Maybe. Could Moor be. Um, anyway, the ducks are on. <laughs> the bottom edge of the decal was horrible and obvious, so I used 1,200 thinnies and it set about thin in the edges. It was scary, but needed doing. That along there? Yeah. See, it blends, it, it blends in underneath those two ducks there. There was yeah. just a massive ridge that you like, no matter what I was going to do, it was going to, go, it was going to be there, so I had to blend that edge okay. up and just sanded the decals down. It got rid of the bit of extra gloss that I seemed to have from the uh, factory, which is quite nice. Cool. Very nice, Tom. Very nice. It all went near tits up, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, up. As all the decals and main painting was done, I glossed it using alkyd aqua gloss. Wouldn't have done this usually, but I was worried about the white paint getting dirty marks that wouldn't have been able to remove. Yeah. Radiator has been painted. Not totally happy with that. So we'll be addressed tonight. Looks good little painting. Good progress as well. It's nice. Looks it's lovely. Good, yeah. What's wrong with the radiator, Matt? Just the edges. That, that, oh, that, see, yeah, yeah. Bit, that <laughs> edge there. Yeah, bottom edge wasn't too happy about. It seems to slightly be off offline, but it seems to actually it still seems to be on the grill, which I wasn't too sure about. I'm like, hey, that's why I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, it's looking great though. I, I'm enjoying it. Nice little yeah. fun build again. Nice scheme. Mm. Oh, that's the perfect scheme though. I must say, oh, yeah. ah, this is uh, Mr. Paul, who Mr. is Paul! making <laughs> progress on his. Come on, mouse, stop skipping. Oh. On his uh, Mercedes AMG GT3. Um, painted an EVA purple from zero and uh, used a hobby design decals. 2K cleared it this morning. Went some dancing bananas. Yep. That's beautiful, man. That is just sweet. It was sweet. Um, <laughs> Paul was taking some photographs of this last night. And all, and not night before, sorry. And all of this um, green bit sort of glows in the dark. It doesn't actually glow, yeah. but it's so bright you can actually see it. Oh, yeah. and it looks sweet in low light. It really does. Yeah, it does. That's a beautiful kid, man. It's quite real. Yeah, gorgeous. Is it Pilford Brown, do you think? Huh? Pilford Brown, does it? Possibly. Now, what I did see is the Evangeline. I think it's Evangeline. I might be killing the word the eva team um which that scheme is they do bikes as well as zx 10r which yep. you oh. did in the purple and red i see someone make that car in the red color the other day with the same decals and oh my god it looked just as oh, good beautiful i got a feeling i would get another car another set of decals mm -hmm. well, so i've, what, I've not just... seen the actual red car for real but they did the scheme for the bike, so I don't care if it doesn't exist. I think I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> That's stunning work, man. Lovely. Really nice. <coughs> and then some bloke in Sherwood Forest. Um, more on the King yeah. Tiger from Hobby Boss. Uh, so I built and cleaned up all of the wheels. Oh. <laughs> um, and all of the axles and stuff ready to go in torsion bars. And then um, I've made up the uh, the back panel, almost, apart from the jack, which I'm just assembling now. Nice. Um, well, it's just going together. The, the, jack, well. the jack's in about 20-odd pieces. Yeah, Tim, oh. Tim gave me a brilliant tip on the Zimmerit because I've never used the stuff before. I only found out what it was actually purpose, purpose, the purpose of it last week. Um, so I was just about to stick this on, and Tim went, hang on, hang on, right, because it would it would all get damaged and chipped. And I said, all right, okay. He said, but if you damage and chip it after you've put it on, you're going to go through to the plastic or what would be the metal underneath. And mm -hmm. that wouldn't get damaged because damaged, this would just chip off because it's just yeah. like concrete yeah. stuff. Don't, don't just do the edges. All the, no, no. All the no. Damage yeah. I wanted to wait until these were on as well to, to sort of yeah. work out where the most sort of likelihood of things catching it or whatever was going to be. But yeah. I've roughed it up in a few places, but so the, the tip that I've had from Tim, which I hope he doesn't mind me sharing, mm. is um, when I spray this, when I prime it, I'll prime it red oxide. <laughs> and then all around these areas here, I will spray some chipping fluid or hairspray on it around here 
then spray the top coat and then just chip it off around here just to get yeah. this damage showing through all around the edge. That's a, a really cool idea. And the other thing, which you can't really see on there, is it comes with some photo etch. And I think the purpose oh. of these little bars was to stop grenades going down the exhaust. Yeah. Yep. And I was just about to stick the PE on, and Tim and Paul said, no, don't do that. It'll fall off. Drill a hole through and put some brass wire in. So that's yep. what I did. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah cool. I'm loving it. it. There's so many pieces on here. It's just, yeah, but I'm loving it. It's brilliant. Did really, you find really it really went on okay as you glued it to the back of the plastic? Yes, yeah. I used Revel Contactor across the main body, and then around the edge, I went all the way around the edge a few times with some Tamiya Extra Thin, um, right. so that it kind of wicked underneath and actually sealed it down. And also, it when I chipped it and damaged it and stuff, in some places, I put a bit more on so it sort of softened the edge and made oh, it look yeah, a bit more yeah. worn and, and stuff as, it, as it's gone in. So, yeah, it's... um. It's lovely, lovely kit. Lots of clean up. Everything's got mold lines and stuff on it, but I don't mind that. It's um, it's lovely. Nice work, Jake. Thank you very much. Ooh, we got some more jumped in at last minute. Uh, number two. This one's from Sturman, who I've seen is in our chat tonight. Oh, nice. oh that is very nice. I love um, it. Making time, time this year to get back into building uh, the 1979 Hassey 190D D9 for practice D9, yeah. in the late summer. Mate, nice. That is lovely. Nice workout. Uh, oh, like yeah. What's good? Bigger, mate. What's good? Uh, the 30 second, it'll be. Oh, yeah. You haven't put the scale on, mate. Um, yeah, I think it'll be the 30 second scale one. That's really nice. That is nice work. That's beautiful. Well, I, do like yeah. I do like the D9. I think it's got a lovely shape to it. Yeah, I've got that to build a new one of that. Nice faded yeah. panels, different colored panels. That's cool. I like that. Top work, mate. Top yep. work. And that's it for the forum this week. So, again, mate. 172, he says. 172, he says. Oh, you are joking. <laughs> 48th, that's wow. why I asked what scale, because I thought it was 48th. I thought it was a 32nd, mate. 72nd, wow, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate, that's awesome. That's beautiful work, man. Get off my dick. Get off. Well done, mate. Well done. Uh, right, that's it for the forum. So we'll jump over to face oh, Facebook. Um, I'm look for Dan. I didn't turn off uh, comments on here, so yes, did you? Yeah. Oh, well done, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah. You hadn't. I made sure the song put theirs on and then turned it off. So yeah, uh, the last one done. Thanks, mate. So we've got thirty on here. Right. So kicking off with. Delios Pratsis. Okay. Um, his ad, as chariot, as carrot. That's it. Uh, yeah, never so sure with that one. Ascarit. I'm sure uh, someone's shouting down at us, telling us that we're all wrong anyway. So, as carrot in the motion show, the 135. Let's click on that and make it bigger. I do right. like that vehicle. They are super nice. Must mm. yeah, nice work. Yeah, I like that, mate. That's cool. I do like that. Nice, simple dial. Mm -hmm. mm, that's all you need, mate. Yeah. Really. Model speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Uh, Jess Santos, reposting an old paper. It is what you've been working on this week. Dude, oh, hang on. No, yeah. hang on. Have I missed? What? What? No. Oh, Are that's you... right. Hey? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? No. No, no, no. no where's the thing gone? Well, the comments okay. are gone. 30. The comments. Uh... That's why it didn't click. Sorry, he hadn't even posted in the tip thing. I thought that was looking a bit weird. Here we go. Right. <laughs> Start again. Anyway, <laughs> kicking off this week with John Stone. When's Dan back? Oh. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm still <laughs> chewed up about swearing, honestly. Anyway. Uh, John says, greetings, slaves to the plastic and fellow fumblers. Further progress this week on the Trumpeter 135 Mercer Carl Gerrit. 
UMP gray primer followed by some rusting. Most of it, though, will never be seen. But as you know, it has to be done. Have a great show and model on. See you all there. What do you think, Nick? We can all be finished. Yeah. One thing you can say about Johnny Cracks on Mother <laughs> He certainly does. He certainly does. Nice oh, start, yeah. Matt. Nice. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, Richie Lamb is up next. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are we sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. To, I present to you my Meng BMR3 in 135th scale, painted in Tamiya and Vallejo acrylics and weathered with UMP weathering products. Still a fair bit to do. Have a good show. Nice. Yeah, I like that. It's a bit that one. Nice tone on the, uh, the mm -hmm. camera on there. Very nice. Nice work, Ricky, as always. Uh, David Powell. <laughs> yeah, I saw this in the week. It's really cool. Uh, David, David knocked up a tool tray, and it gathered a bit of interest, so it sort of evolved. Um, <laughs> uh, money saver for all on a budget, 100 lolly sticks, some wood glue, one rattle can, and an hour or two. And uh, he started off making this uh, sort of four square section to put some tet in, some another Tamiya square bottle and I think he had a couple of UMP washes in the back and then a couple hours later he went oh I've modified it and he put this kind of brush or knife holder thing up on the back all made out of lolly sticks and it was still in just bare wood and then about an hour later he's like and I've painted it <laughs> uh, it's really cool that's brilliant yeah yeah <laughs> bag of lolly sticks from Hobby Craft and some glue there you go good idea yeah that's really cool uh sean brader modeler in a shed um oh, i've clicked on his profile stop it graham why do you do that that's what i, I want to do sean for a while there we go uh, oh blimey because wow. busy painting that uh yeah. greetings plastic products this week i've been finishing off this monogram 124th 1932 ford street rod bought it from a local model, model shop as a some parts may be missing special and sure enough, it had three rear wheels and only one front one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I raided the stash and found some chrome slot mags on another kit with the odd wheels from this now destined for another build. Sprayed the body in UMP grey primer, zero paints jet black, followed by zero paints chromatic flip cyan red. Oh. Um, with, Tamiya, with a Tamiya X22 gloss. Photographs really don't do it justice. The kit isn't the most detailed, but subtle alterations, along with the not-so-subtle paint, kind of works for me. Since taking the photos, I've added some UMP dirt wash over the grill and wheels to add some depth, as the chrome looked a bit heavy without it. That's Happy cool. with the results. Keep That's inspiring, cool. folks. Very nice, Sean. I like that, mate. Yeah, that is really nice. That's cool. Nice work. Now, when you consider that Sean only got an airbrush for the first time about, what, six weeks ago? Why that, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> uh, he, he's he's got the hang of it. <laughs> That's lush. Yeah, that's really nice. Looks lovely, mate. Top work. Very nice indeed. And Mr. Scott Blois uh, <laughs> finished his muscle car build entry, the one twenty fifth AMT sixty three Corvette. Very nice. Good. Good. Car was painted in Model Masters Nassau blue, and the window trim was painted in Testers silver. That's a sweet little model, that. That is nice, isn't it? Yeah, very nice indeed. Very nice stuff, like that. Good finish on it. Nice entry, well done. Very good. Cool. Very good. Uh, John Olchik. Uh, Tamiya Honda S600, 124 scale, finished interior and chassis. Body painted with Mr. Hobby Previous Silver, should that be Precious Silver? And 156 Super White, now waiting for GX100 and Alclad Chrome here and there. I've looked at that kit on eBay a couple of times. It's a it's a nice little look, and it's a nice looking little car in, in yeah. the flesh. It's a very nice little Honda. Mm. Very nice little Honda. Cracking interior. <laughs> yep. Lovely work, mate. Well done. Love it. And Adrian. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, oh. Yeah. Seven days after starting, he's finally finished his Revel C7R Corvette. Not happy with it, 
not happy at all with it. Yeah. Um, as can be seen, I'm very rusty. It's been painted with zero pads and is cleared with it too. Uh, it's completely out of the box. This kit is awful. <laughs> Terrible fit, poorly made, but it looks decent enough from far away. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's yeah. finished build for six months. No, I think it looks nice. So, do it yourself up, Aaron. I find <laughs> I built that kit, and I find mine rode a bit high. I thought yeah. it rode lower. I want to get that and do it in those uh, checker flag decals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. I want to get it, yeah. That's nice work, Al. Well done, yeah. Matt. Looks good. Very nice. Nice work, mate. Good stuff. And uh, Philip Franska. Oh, Dalek. Uh, this week, I've been working on the Airfix Daleks in Manhattan. Doctor Who dial. Only one Dalek complete so far. <laughs> Use UMB gloss black, then AK Extreme Gold. Lights and sound, too. Okay. Looks, like, looks like the wife now left in the I was just about to say another girl look like that. <laughs> yeah, Daleks don't frighten me. I can climb stairs. <laughs> they can hover now, mate. And oh. Mr. Jonathan Bellows has finished his oh. Tamiya 30 second scale F for you. What a Corsair. And isn't that just a thing of beauty? Yeah, it's lovely. You yeah. really need to go and see the his build thread on that. On the thing, yeah. It's, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. That's beautiful work, John. Beautiful, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's lovely, mate. I love that. Love that. I, 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 I want to build that model at some point as well. I saw pictures of it today. I was looking at them and I thought to myself, that's a cracking bit of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got one in the box. <laughs> 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 Uh, I was uh, going to say something there, but I thought they better not. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot, mate. You're cracking. Nah, I well, and uh, Mr. Dan Cook, Lily Putton Modeling. Uh, he's been working on his trumpet at a 70 second scale SU 30 MKK. Painted the cockpit with Mr. Color, Tamiya, and Vallejo model color paints. The decal looks okay, considering there's no raised detail on the cockpit. Just sealed the fuselage halves together. Lovely little kit. Oh, I'm good. very oh, well. tempted to go for some of these little 170 second jets, you know, the Russian mm -hmm. ones. Oh, they're, size. They're, they're still pretty big in 172. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. Happy days. Looks good. Very nice indeed. Uh, Peter Baghorn. Oh, okay. Photographs underneath. Uh, okay. Okay. That's an F1 car. F1. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 120th Tamiya SH70F, still in progress. It's the first 120th scale F1 car that I'm working on using SMS Primer. Uh, TS49 decanted. Thanks, Paul, for the video. It helps my first time doing this. Uh, starting a decal today, and this will be the first time doing 2K clear from SMS. Nice. Uh, wish me luck. Um, don't know how many times I've seen Paul's videos on doing it, but feeling confident. Good. It will be fine. Good stuff, right? Yep, very nice. Uh, a little bump up from Dan. Mr. Antonio Rillo. Oh, not his profile. <laughs> so... Antonio has been building a mobile suit gin bandai. Cool. Uh, primed in UMP black, Vallejo paints, MRP wash, AK Extreme metal, Tamiya panel lines, UMP wash, and some spare decals. That's lovely, Antonio. That's really cool. cool. Really, really cool. We've been a successful kit, haven't we? Say so again, mate. I think you had a bit of success with that kit in the show. I think he did. He didn't have to take a bronze with it. Yeah, excellent. I think he did, yeah. Well done, man. Yeah, yeah really, cool. really nice. Super cool, dude. Uh, Alex Newbauer. Ooh, that looks nice. Uh, Tamiya 172. Sp what the blimey. 
172 Spitfire cockpit done. Use the new MIG primer and have to say that stuff is fantastic. Pauses for interjection. Mm -hmm. no? um, uh, cockpit painted as usual with Tamiya colors. Instrument panel dry brushed and hope to get it finished on the weekend. That's really nice. That is really nice. 170 seconds. What does it do? Good work. Nice. Hey. Dan Edmonds. If you look carefully in amongst all this, there's a little tiny bottle of some solver set somewhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no modeling for over a month now. <laughs> month as he's been constructing the new improved man cave in the new house. Uh, the good news is that we received the final piece of the jigsaw today, a lovely bench vent from air-craft.net. So nice. now I can finally get cracking tonight whilst watching the live show. Yeah, nice one, Dan. Good news, yeah. good news. Nice work, Space that, mate. Go for the job. All the best models have big blue cutting mats. I've got blue, gray, and uh, blue, gray, and green. Cover all bases. Uh, concise. Famo. Loose assembly. <laughs> bit more in. Bit yeah. more in for would be nice, please. Last time, eh? But yeah, it looks good. Looks well, okay. good. I like the stowage. That's cool. See, is that aftermarket? Did you make it? I was oh, yeah. so. Come with it? Yeah, it looks like it. More yeah. info, please. More info. Um, Ryan Cancino. Always a pleasure. Oh, my oh. word. Yeah. Uh, on the bench this week is the completed F20C motor from the Honda S2000 resin cast. It started with just the block and valve cover, then <laughs> lots of photo etch and scratch built items added. Uh, watch parts for the pulleys, yep. and Tamiya tape for the belts, aftermarket plug wires, braided fuel oil lines, aluminium velocity stacks for the intake, and solder for the headers. Cold as hell. That's beautiful work. Primed in badger stainless res black, then Vallejo chrome, and finally washed with null oil from Citadel, all airbrushed with his Iwata Revolution. Lots of work, but well worth the time. It'll be going into a Civic hatchback. <laughs> Stay yeah. inspired and happy Friday. Uh, Ryan, once again, mate, just wow. That's the Civic he cut right down, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's chopped the cart a bit, to, and he's putting this in the back of it. <laughs> Super cool job, man. Yeah. Uh, top skills, buddy, top skills. Uh, Grant Ash. Uh, this is Tamiya 124 skill, 911 Porsche 911 GT1. Then primary UMP white primer and painted in Tamiya X2. Uh, the wheels are primed to UMP black primer and painted in Tamiya X12. Then clear coated with X22. Uh, it's then displayed on Coastal Kits display base. Have a good weekend, everyone. Grant, that's looking sweet. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Nice. I was I started that kit. I was doing it as a fill-in kit while Paul was doing the lorry. Mm -hmm. So the body's all done. So I will go back there. But that's, that's cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's very nice. Lovely scheme as well. I'm going to lay in pegging this week. Great work. Uh, David Sargent. I love this. I love this. Uh, it's his wow. Tamiya, one thirty second scale strike eagle. Last bits to do before the Southwell show. Hope to have it finished for Sunday. I'm also a numpty as posted earlier and deleted when he was editing it. Um, yes, if you're around uh, Nottinghamshire, Lincolnshire, anywhere like that, if you go to Southwell or Southall, if you're local, um, there's a model show on there this weekend, and you'll be able to see David and uh, several other people, and uh, hopefully be able to see this. Um, yeah, that's lush, mate. Really nice. I like the uh, the banding on the engines. Yeah. That's yeah. really sweet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not picking. <laughs> uh, right. Um, Claudio Caral di Castillo. Well, at last, I've finished the tank itself, although I still have to finish some small details. A weathering was made by using sand and <coughs> Vietnam earth pigments and fixing them with highly diluted enamels. Um, I think I overdid a bit on the wheels. Can't see them from this shot. 
Um, planning to build a base for it with the DAK badge, something simple. I've also added the MP40 at the back of the turret, and maybe I'll add something else on the engine deck. Nice. I think that looks lovely. Now, what yeah, I would love to know what it is. <laughs> is that's the V? Is that the VK? One of the VK uh, type um, tanks. Yeah. Hmm. It's got that weird stepped front hull, and I, I can't remember. I can't remember the proper number. Yeah, still put what the uh, vehicle is. Something like that, isn't it? <coughs> so you was just a target in the jump. Oh yeah, it's just, you know, just an explosion waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. nice. Really nice. Just don't forget to put the kit in. That's um, yeah, very nice indeed. Or be the amusing hobby. Well, that is on the side. That's lovely. Oh. Ah, Mr. Luke Cardwell. Black Rifle Model Works on YouTube. And I believe ah, it's on my to-watch list. He put a channel update on last week, I think. Uh, this week he's made a start on his Italeri Volvo FH16 Viking for Polo's <coughs> group build. Um, engine complete and chassis frame is together. Chassis is spread in UMP gloss black. Metal colours are Vallejo True Metal Steel, Chrome and Magnesium. The blue is Vallejo Prussian Blue. Uh, happy Friday and happy modelling. That again, that yep. timing gear looks lush. Does, Matt. Really cool. Yeah, nice work, Luke. Nice one, Luke. Mm -hmm. Hope you're well, mate. I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, look at this. Oh. I'm following this one. It's good. So, Mr. Gaff Painter, uh, more progress on the Hobby Boss 135th scale Soviet BA-20 armoured car. Uh, been using the MIG Ammo Russian modulation set. Colours are Russian dark base, Russian green base, Russian light base, all shot through the UMP Apex. Uh, there's a further lighter tone included in the set I may use to highlight handles, bolts and edges. Thanks, Gav. Oh, mate. That's nice. That's beautiful. Put together. Uh, super working. I think I'm going to have to have one of those. Those look nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a gorgeous looking thing. But I like I like the way this is all coming together with the turret and stuff. I think it's going to look stunning. Um, going to of course it is. Well, uh, yeah, of course it does now. But I mean, you know, when it's all together, yeah, that's lush, man. Really nice. Hmm. And Radim, who's Epic Senpai in the chat. Uh, yeah, have you put your question back in, mate? Because um, I would like to answer it for you. Uh, so he's added change to the trolley for his 116th German 15 centimeter SFH 18 howitzer. Uh, nothing so special, but the pain in the hand took its toll, as I did for about six hours. Um, He's put the typhoon, typhoon on hold because it will need some sand on the fuselage and he can't get a proper grip on it. Um, grip on the sanding stick. Uh, just can't sit and do nothing. But I hope to recover <laughs> soon. The pain is much more bearable now thanks to the drugs and finger exercise. Yeah. Yep. Have a nice session. That's looking awesome, mate. I do love the look of that. Very nice. Very nice. I hope you get sorted with your hand, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. And Andreas Score. The mad Norwegian. <laughs> says, hi, you guys. This week, I have the following work to present to you. The Edward Profi Pack number 8284. 148th scale Supermarine Spitfire Mark uh, 8. <laughs> <laughs> Note to the clipped wings. Uh, the paint scheme he's chosen represents JF-470 31st Fighter Group, 308th Fighter Squadron from Fano Air Base in the period between 44 and 45. The kit has also been further augmented with a resin gun bay and radio compartment. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, he's a cheeky monkey. Yeah. But he's a lovely cheeky monkey. He's funny. It's looking nice, that, mate. Yeah. As Clip. always, 
I'm sure you'll knock it out of the park. And Mr. Adam Challenger, another one on the truck build. Come on. Hello. Hello. There we go. Uh, it's the Atelari 124th DAF maritime truck, the great big monster that he uh, purchased in the week. Main chassis and wheels completed. We'll start the cabin trailer and body this week. Quite a long kit when it's together. Oh, yes. It's going to be three feet long. It's huge. Very nice. Very cool. Jim said he opened the box to his one and then closed the box again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, model officer, Mr. James Skiffins. Uh, well, Matthew, not played with much this week, but slow progress on the LVT one uh, uh, four Mark IV. Um, so this is for oh, it's the group build War at Sea, is it called? Um, and it's a landing craft. It's looking lush. I do you like the shape of that vehicle? Yeah, mm -hmm. really cool. Really cool. Nice work, mate. Another person that makes it look so easy. <laughs> and Mr. John Sharp. Oh, look at that. That's only gone and finished a blooming condensator. Okay. Uh, so yeah. the Trumpeter 135th. 2A3 condensator finished. Uh, about blooming time, you say. Lol. Primed in UMP black. Paint is a mix of Tamiya Deep Green and IJN Grey. Darkened and lightened to achieve some tonality and avoid the crush you can get with greens. Uh, simple pin washes using MIG washes and some chipping with cam. Yeah. Cam black brown. Uh, tracks yeah. weathered. Yeah, German cam black brown. Okay. Uh, tracks weathered in my usual way. Awesome kit, but not for the faint hearted. No, nice. but, mate, that's looking awesome. Yeah, beautiful man. That is cracking work, John. Isn't that one of your longest builds? I think recently. Yeah, I have been running a bit slow. Yeah, I was saying. Hope you've got a nice big coffee table to set that thing up. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Gun elevated, otherwise it would have been <laughs> two and a half foot long. Yeah, I really like that, mate. I like it a lot. The green looks great. It really does. Super. Yeah, so there is a down the barrel shot as well. <laughs> Just a scale. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, mate, that's really nice. Cracking yeah. job. I like it a lot. And Mr. David Sean, who's Mr. Mini Dreams in the chat. Oh, look at that! Oh, nice. I did. I did his uh, collage for him and made sure I added pink for him. Very nice. <laughs> it works. Yeah, it. <laughs> so uh, it's a Liberty Walk, an Aoshima Liberty Walk GTR shooting brake project. Nice. Painted in UMP dull pink and UMP black primer. UMP dull pink? Yeah, we, we don't get them over here. Banner is. Oh, so start right. Okay, yeah, of course, yeah. Um, and then trim's done in Vallejo pink. The inside is pink and grey, and the body is all plastic. Combine the Aoshima GTR body with the Revel Dodge Magnum roof. Holy <laughs> moly. That's sweet. I really like that a lot. That's Looks beautiful. like something out of a magna, manga comic, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah, really nice, mate. You're a very talented man. Yay, top work. And that is it. Good luck, everyone. That's all I can say. Oh, so, what are you going to get now, PC? You're going to get five minutes. So I'm just going to start a timer. When you see uh, Graham post, uh, start your nomination now. Or do it, Graham, or do somebody else do? Because uh, I'm going to scroll through, so if somebody else could do, do that. I'll do it, I'll do it. Graham is going to put start your uh, voting now. Give you five minutes. It's on screen with Norman there. Go through, pick your favourite build. Uh, give us the name and the model if you can. To make life a bit easier for us. And uh, after five minutes, we'll do a tally and figure out the winner. And that winner will win a UMP goodie bag. Over to you guys. Good luck, everybody. In three, two, 
one. Start your vote. Okay, quick flash through. So we've got uh, Neil Tomcat 64 with his resin um, Model T, which is lush. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ian Douthwaite, Rolly Chef, building, scratch building. Mm -hmm. um, another truck for A.W. Jenkinson. We've got um, Al McNeish, Mr. One Mac, and his trilogy, his triptych of aircraft. The Dauntless, the F-16, and the Canberra. Uh, we've got uh, Kaz with his uh, chassis and engine for the Scania R3, R730, the Black Amber kit. We have got uh, Norman D with his TAC... This bloody mouse wheel is horrible. Uh, with his uh, TACOM G6 Rhino, looking gorgeous. We've got uh, Scott Two Kids No Sleep and his lovely engine. It does look like a proper caterpillar colour as well. Yeah. Um, Tim Plastic uh, and his little Edward Fokker, which is sweet. And Paul with his gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Poiple GT. She's lovely. You vow? No, no. One of us can still win. No example. We're not picking, so yeah, we're not picking. We're not. Um, and then some Muppet called uh, Black Seventy Three Cat sticking some stripey stuff on a bit of plastic mm -hmm. that will eventually turn into a tank. I hope. And then uh, Sturman, oh, with his once right. Hang on, hang on. One seventy second scale. 1979 Hasegawa 90D9. That's lovely. Sorry, I won't uh, dwell on that, but yeah, it is really nice. Just saying, I like that a lot. Um, and then over back to Facebook. Starting at the top of the correct post, we have John Stone with his um, uh, Moser Karl Gerat thing, something German and big. Um, Richie Lamb and his, uh, <coughs> excuse me, lovely BMR3 from Meng. Like the camera on that. Um, <laughs> David Powell with his uh, DIY tool tray. Like that. Sean Brader with his lovely, um, uh, um, what's it called? Um, yeah. Street Rod. Street that's, rod. Uh, that's a nice looking kit. Uh, Scott's um, Corvette, 63 Corvette. Uh, John Altchick with his Honda S600. Love that kit. Love that car. Uh, Adam Height with his um, return to modeling with his Corvette C7. Very nice. Uh, Philip Ramscar with his Daleks. Jonathan Bellows with his absolutely drop dead gorgeous Corsair. I'll be like that. Uh, Dan Cook with his lovely little 172nd scale uh, flanker. Uh, Peter Waghorn and his F1 car, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, Antonio's prize winning yeah. uh, Gundam. Uh, Alex Neubauer and his 172nd Spitfire cockpit. Dan Edmonds with his new cave. See the little tiny bottle of salt? Is that just there? Um, Stephen Jones with his um, concise famo. Uh, Ryan oh. just. <laughs> Beautiful engine. Um, yeah, what can I say? Grant's uh, 911 GT, which is lovely. David Sargent's gorgeous uh, 132nd scale Strike Eagle. Claudio's um, tank, which we're not sure what it is, but it's very, very pretty. It's a VK1601 Leopard prototype. One thank minute. You, John. Thank you, um, Thank you. Luke uh, Carswell, Black Rifle Model Works, and his engine for his uh, Italeri Volvo F6, FH16. Um, Gav Paint is beautiful Russian armoured car. Just uh, quick, if any of us want to put our votes in, put, put, put it in the chat. Uh, Radim um, has been working on his big gun, which is looking good. Andreas Score and his Spitfire. Uh, Adam and his truck, the chassis for his DAF Maritime. Um, Mr. James Skiffins, model officer, and his landing craft, the LVT4. Uh, John Sharp and his gorgeous com con and his, uh, compensator, <coughs> condensator, a big beastie brute. Uh, Mr. David Sean with his extremely funky pink chopped up shooting brake wagony thing, which is just lovely. 
And was it? Spot and up. some other bits. But yeah, sorry, I didn't get there. Well, you just. I did. I did. I get. I made, yeah, I did. I just made it. Ah, good. You did. Well done. Well done. Cool. Mm. Nice one, Graham. Right. Well, so Tim will add them up. Well, I'm all added up. You're all added up? Yeah, I'm all added up. It was quite close. You are quick. I'm doing it while I'm going. You don't, you don't think I'll wait till the end? I must be joking. <laughs> that would fry my brain. That would try and go back through that. Um, so we've got in third place was the 1932 Street Rod. Oh, yeah. That's quite cool. Oh, well done, Sean. Nice, nice one, Sean. Yeah. Uh, this is this is one point out because I was gonna, I'm putting my vote on John's uh, John Bellows Corsair. He yeah. got 11 votes. Wow. Got second place as uh, second place, and David with his pink GTR was tw with 12 uh, with 12 votes. Well done. You're gonna address me, David, and I'll pop you a goodie bag in the post. Well done. Well done, well done. Just have a little more look at it. It's a beautiful bit of work. Nice one, David. I really like that sweet. I think that's just yeah. Top. Really nice. Super duper. You was a clever man, you is. Well done, mate. Oh, well done, well. Lovely job. Yeah, well done, everyone. Um, we'll post the thread up at some point next week again. You don't share your work. Go for it. Be well, be well, be well. Where's my saddle on cream going? I've lost it. I was saying in the chat to donate the goodie bag to models for heroes. Oh, you're a good man, Dave. Well done. Oh, thanks, thanks mate. Hi. Very much, dude. Yeah, man. Hi. I think it's my collage that made that. Uh, that <laughs> Without my skills. It's the pink highlights. <laughs> it's, the, it's the pink highlights that brought out the pink in the model. That's what it is. <laughs> you did that, mate. You the man, Tim. Tommy's just joined, doesn't I mean? Who? Tommy Maker. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Tommy. You right, Tim? Oh. Probably <laughs> mm. shot at your butt there, Tim. I can see your bum bum. Well, stop staring. I know what you mm. like. Not looking at men's bums. A little wiggle. Is that where it's supposed to be in those shadows? I'm looking for a book that I realised I bought that I couldn't find, but I'm pretty sure I bought it, so I better find it. You're going to take it back to the library. Check your socks. <laughs> <laughs> Love don't live here anymore. <laughs> Shake it like a Polaroid picture. There we go. We found it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Found the book. It helps when you look properly, isn't it? <coughs> probably a book that was sitting looking at you all along, Tim. Eh? It's probably the first book that was sitting looking at you. Find more Wingnuts books. It's not the one you got holding up the leg of the bench, is it? No, not a sign. <laughs> Some windsock books. Yeah. 
Apparently, I think they might be doing one of these, you know, wing nuts. They might be doing one of the spads. Oh. There's some really colourful spads mm -hmm. out there. There's some really good looking ones. There's one with the, the American flag on it. One with skull and crossbones. Belgian markings. Look really cool. Which do you prefer? Tim, planes or, or like a vehicles? Hey? Eh? Which do you prefer, planes or vehicles? Oh, I know you do both. I think I prefer looking. I like I like seeing when people build the build the uh, the armor. I just can't build anything like it. I see some of the really good stuff they do, and I just can't do that, <laughs> which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I like I like I like looking. I like these World War One planes. They're just. There's nothing to them. As in yeah, the planes when they're flying, they're just, they just <coughs> how the hell are they went up there and started shooting each other? There's no protection. None at all, no. Not in the slightest. Let's have a little look, see what sort of colour. Over here, um, there was three men from the First World War. Who were given the George Medal posthumously? Oh yeah, yeah. It was a really cool ceremony. The family members went up to get the medals. Really nice. Nice. Cool. Three of men. Incredibly so. Just fly one of those things anyway, but wartime being shot at. Okay. I was watching a documentary about the Remington Capita carbine. And French carry them in the planes for when the machine guns jam. Okay. What? The Remington Capita carbine, the French pilots and observers carried them in the planes with them for when the machine guns jam. <laughs> Fly real close to the. Well, you might just, just took a bag of stones with you and just thrown them at each other. <laughs> Better off. Well, yeah, the only way you're going to drop the plane out of the sky is if you hit the pilot or the fuel tank. <laughs> yeah. Either if if you're lucky enough, you get a shot off and you uh, you manage to cut the cable to one of the control services. Yeah. You'll be uh, pretty stuffed, but that kill the pilot or. <laughs> Could you imagine pulling high G's and just disappearing from the bottom of the aircraft? <laughs> Straight out of the ball. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happened a number of times, apparently. Yeah. Uh, they're just sitting. The whole floor just gave away, and they just, they just fell through it. What do you reckon will be the safest of the active armed services? Is it going to be Navy or Air Force? Possibly. Uh, 
I imagine only a small amount of the air force is actually on the front line to be attacked, isn't it? Depends on, yeah. I would, I would have thought just, just if you do it by number, yeah, there's less chance of of of, uh, air, um, of RF personally. I would have thought being injured in service than uh, I would have thought. Yeah. But, could quite easily be wrong. Quite easily be wrong. I usually am. Somewhere like um, somewhere like uh, the the, the uh, bastion and places like that, where they were constantly getting mortared um, onto the base, then obviously the, the ground crew would have been in some danger. But yes. usually, usually, um, yeah, other they than well out of arms range, didn't they? Yeah, usually. Um, and likewise with the navy these days, because the defence systems have got on the ships. There's not much, not much can get towards them now. No, is is would Camp Ashton actually had RF there? Would it actually been under, under army? Um, I'm not sure how it worked. To be honest, I'm not sure because there were definitely RAF um, <coughs> uh, out there and active, but I'm not sure where they were or or how far out they were or whatever. Royal Navy Seagull clearing battalion, the safest. <laughs> Near a seagull. <laughs> Especially with a bag of chips. Yeah, they ain't small birds at all. They're, no, they're, they're big, big yeah. and things, aren't they? Oh! What? Well, um, I'm not going to be a grass. Uh, <laughs> no, did no. somebody say something? Go on, Graham. What's up? Ben, the, grass, the, the chat will grass you up. Go on, Graham. No, I thought it might, it might just be my ears. Why well, did your ears think you heard? I thought I heard you did in potty mouth. Who, me? Yes. I said mean ass. Mm. You would never do that, Tim. Yeah, he would. I just want to uh, somebody to take the steam off me. <laughs> Good try. Well, you than me. Tim didn't swear he'd have every wing not wings kit by now. Well, there is that possibility. I need to, I need to expand my collection again. But the best about it is, in our offer, hang out. You, you're not the worst. Nope. By any mark, I mean it's probably me and Paul. That are the worst. If I can say the wrong thing at the wrong time, I'm there. I'm your man. Trust me. Oh yeah, if you want something inappropriate said. <laughs> yeah. If you need someone to say the wrong thing at a wrong time, Tim's your man. That's it. I, that's the sort of thing I can do. You said another one the other night, didn't you? And I've forgotten what it was now. Did I? Yeah, I remember. It was only me, you, and me, you and Dan, I think. God, and he's, he said something, and I can't remember what it was. It was a good one, though. It was another good one. Every one's a gem. There's just so many timid it's hard to... Pick the best one. Listening to um, Absolute Radio 90s is great at the moment because I'm making up some really good words to songs. My, my appre the apprentice kid thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> well, you are, Tim? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he does ask me this look of, I think he's nuts. Was he 17, 18? I think he's like 18. Question for you there, uh, Graham, off uh, David. That's just a question for you now. Uh, Mainly for the word, isn't it, to be honest, but you'll see that in a minute. Okay. Have any of you on the live crew wanted to see a certain person build a Pacific build <laughs> that one may not usually do by their own choices? Um. Um, what? 
I don't know. Every one of the group to build a ship. Yeah, you should that up your ass. Do you mean? <laughs> Do you mean Pacific or specific? I don't know. Pacific. I think he means Pacific. You say ship and the all shudder. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind ship. I quite enjoy my little thing. If I was going to build a ship, it would be one of the main two ones. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm ready. I've got a big one built for next year, the Mikasa. What, didn't you get a big Japanese ship, Roman? Yeah, the Mikasa, the one two hundred scale one. That's my uh, next year's build. Absolutely enormous thing. I ship sky, that's a nice one. Hey, would we fancy doing that uh, Enterprise at Disco Steve did? Yeah, it looked good, doesn't it? Oh, man, yeah. that was lovely. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to do the Aztec decals. He's done a cracking job on that thing. <coughs> oh, damn it. Oh, right. right, we do our last giveaway. Yeah, it's going to set. Right, we're going to do our last giveaway tonight, and then we're going to call it a night as well, I think. Mm. Um, so we've got a UMP goodie bag to give away. You got pack of sanders, pickle pencils, stickers, sweets, etc., etc. All you gotta do to win it is wait until you prompt in the chat by Graham saying start numbers now. Uh, you get five minutes to pick one number from one to a thousand, just one. Don't pick any more than one. After five minutes, we stop it. We do a live uh, random number generator, and the closest person to a number wins the goodie bag for free. And uh, that's it. It's that simple. Are you boys ready? Yeah, one of you are on. One on. in three, two. <coughs> Number start. And on that note, boys, I'm going to go. All right. Good night, guys. Good night. 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 <laughs> cool. It's a bit of a pain, but done. Cool. Should just include a decal with the kit. Yeah, uh, the decal set would be easier, but never mind. Really, that wasn't a decal. No. What? Uh, it's a paint it red, mask it with some azu tape, which is the perfect size, and uh, spray it black. A little bit silly. Well, who am I <laughs> arguing? What we're going to do now is mask the windows up, stick a decal on the window, and it's ready for assembly in a couple of days when it's dry. Wonderful. But tomorrow, I have a Subaru video to edit Sunday. And, uh, yeah. It'll be the last video, isn't it? No. All right. This is the seatbelt, this one. Oh, okay. So then we've got one after that will be uh, polishing, window rubbers, uh, the window masks inside. And then the last one will be all the finishing little touches. Cool. Probably three more, including some days. I think uh, it's been a lot more videos. Than I think mate, it's it been more videos than you thought you were going to have. Less. I think I'm one less than I thought. But okay. People look at that's not my photography, so I might do the very last one on just literally how what I used to take pictures. Which yeah, that'd be a good idea. Long to show. I'm no expert, so. No, yeah. but knowing what you do, it, you've, you've managed to get your cars looking 
like good. They're not like little toys stuck on a table sort of thing. So worth sharing. Oh, God. Tell you what, that's flu. Well, that's cold. It's not really a flu, is it? It uh, kicks your ass. Oh, if you can make sure it's gone by self, please, yeah? Oh, it's strange all your energy. Plus, it doesn't help that it's like 26 degrees in here as well. <coughs> the two minutes, peeps. Jump at the number, pop it in the chat. Did uh, did I see somebody in the chat asking asking the saying that they wanted to buy an Edward P forty Warhawk with all of the um, artwork? Oh, I don't know, Graham. Did somebody? Do you, do you happen to know anyone selling one? Um, well, I was just wondering if there was somebody that wanted one. I could probably be, be persuaded to sell mine. Oh, um, have you got a set price in mind? Um, I think probably. I don't know what they're going for now, actually, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, know them. <laughs> Before you start doing sales pitches like this, I suggested a bit of research. Well, it's just out of curiosity. Yeah, you oh. know, I, d I wasn't going to sell it, but if somebody was asking for it, I thought, well, you know. Funny enough, anyone wants to buy a couple of NASCAR kits, <laughs> I have a couple for sale, £18 posted each in the UK. I've got a VF. Well, now you see my Hiura. i got the Goodwrench, uh, Dale Hernock Juniors, and another one. I've forgotten what it is. Funny enough, if people want to buy UMP products, they can find them at UMP.com. Yeah, UMP. <laughs> Sorry. Head on over there. <laughs> um, if you want to buy here, go to the Belgravia Centre. Cheers, Viper. Thanks, Viper. Oh, I've not seen Viper before, didn't you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, what's your name, Viper, and where did you find a link for the show, just out of interest? And Neil's there as well, Sarah and Neil? Hi, uh, mate. Uh, I am Gary, but I had loads of them, and nobody will build them with me. <laughs> <laughs> I built two. I enjoyed them, I had no problem. The decals aren't great, but I had no problem with mine. I have to say, I like that um, that uh, Hot Wheels one. I thought I the, I mean, the, the problem is I end up building them on my own. Literally nobody will build them. Stop! Yeah, no, stick, even. Sorry. No, nobody will uh, build any with me. So. In Germany. Uh, right, hang on. Right, is that sharing? Oh, well, there's a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's an offer you might not. <laughs> right. Well, reviews are good, but it depends on how many subs you've got. That sounded to mean. You've only really got like 100 subs. Nah, it's not really worth it. And I've been told that many times. Sadly. Right. Okay. So. Um, yeah. I know, Adam. You've got a few. I've got, I've got a few left. I've got about four left, I think. I'll do them. Um, right, we're going to do the random regenerator for the UMP goodie bag. So we've got, um, I can't go through the rules of putting your numbers in there now. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm going to click this once, once only. Ignore the number that was from the draw before. Actually, we're not going to use that one. We don't know how to do that. There we go. We'll use random.org. There we go. So a whole new one. Um, so we can click this once and once only. That'll be the winning number. The person closest to the number wins, and two people have the same number. The first person to pick it automatically wins. And as always, you think there is one, please don't shout it out. Uh, these guys will check it, and once they're the winner, Graham will announce it. So the winning number for the UMP goodie bag is 288. 288. <laughs> 124. I wasn't far off, was I? <laughs> I would love to say yes. But I'd have to run it past Lee, and I know for a fact the answer will be yet. No. Yeah, sadly not. But um, plus, all your buddies on the other channel, Nigel, will be moaning about your product placement because they're over there moaning now by the look of it. Because uh, um, David's uh, lollipop stick had a UMP sticker on it. 
No, I'm not joking either. And Scalmodel Medic had some UMP stuff on his bench. Are you kicking off at that? Yeah, apparently, I, I, I might be reading, it might not be about us, uh, but that's why I read into it. Um, oh, yeah, I'll hook you up, Nige. Nige's got four subs on some poachy kit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hook you up, mate. There's a part bit Lamborghini somewhere, isn't there? I believe so. <laughs> um, I think we have a winner. Yeah, I'm just double checking. It was unfortunately two people picked that number, you know. Yeah. Oh, we didn't see the second one. But you know the rule. But it's further down though, so they unfortunately they do not win. First person who picked it. Yeah. Any, any fair way we can do that, really, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't don't pay attention to my spelling. That's terrible. Yeah, but. Yep, that, uh, man. First number entered um, is the winner. So, if we're all agreed. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, for the UMP goodie bag containing all of those goody things, um, Paul <laughs> with random.org drew the number of 288. And with 287, we had two people put that number down. One was Naked Modeler Tony, but I'm really sorry, Tony, because Mark Coos put it in before you. Oh. So, welcome, Mark. It's on its way to you. Oh, sorry. I'm just reading something there. Oh, David, I bet I can even guess what page it is. I bet you, and I'm going to PM you in a minute because I, yeah, I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, you got, you got a hangout title named after you tonight, David, I think. Over on another shitty channel, and that'll be next week's title, probably. <laughs> Any old crap you can pick up because we're going to start life and nothing. <laughs> so, let's pick really shy titles. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, Mark Coombs. Well done, Mark. Get your well, name address to me, mate. Paul Bretland on Facebook, Paul on the forum, and I will get you a UMP goodie bag out in the post uh, next week. So, well done. And uh, David, you got a PM coming right now, mate. <laughs> uh, there we go so uh, like I say keeping out over the weekend there'll be another Subaru build uh, on Sunday 12 midday as always and uh, some reviews up as well and what else will there be uh, next week's show as well There we are. There you go, David. Check your PMs on Facebook, mate. I'll put money on it being what. Right. There we are. Right. So yeah. I think I'll do this tonight, won't it, boys? Yeah. Yes. I've, I've done all the modeling I can do. I am rather hot. And I, uh, yeah. I'm oh, so we'll see you all next week. Um, uh, keeping out for crappy channels on other channels about us. <laughs> else better to, yeah, I knew it would be David. I knew it. I knew I saw it, mate. I saw it and thought, yeah, they're not gonna like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's petty. Get used to the pettiness, mate. This hobby's full of it. Um, and we'll uh, we'll all catch you next Friday. So keeping out for some videos over the weekend. Uh, make sure to post some work up over ISM over uh, the weekend too. Go buy some stuff at UMP retail and uh, ignore all the haters because they're assholes. And there we go. So we'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye bye. Come join us. Have a great weekend. Good night, all.